had this show today? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why, why, why? Because my Uber Eats guy dressed better. <laughs> How many times? Let me ask you this, Michael. <laughs> Let me ask you this. How many times has Luke Fuckface Rockhold done my podcast? None. Zero. I wouldn't ask him. I don't know who you are. I've known you for over a decade, Bobby. Yeah. I still haven't met you. Wow. Yeah. I was I like, man, you out here calling my girl, <laughs> trying to eat her pussy. I eat that pussy. I, da, da, da. Like, you don't do that. Then. She don't want your dick. Oh, egg roll, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's mine. Loses like, oh, and then gets it on me. I'm on all fours. Yeah, I yeah, see shit happened. everywhere. It looks like shit. I'm like, who's shitting? <laughs> then, 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 regular enema. Yeah, it was so weird. I've never had a man put anything in my asshole before. His part was called. He was the Russian. Even though he was Italian, <laughs> why did you pause like that? I don't know. I don't really. Yeah, but that really was really. I don't do that again. That was. That was crazy. You were looking at me. I was looking at you. <laughs> you were the one that's talking. It was crazy that you did that. I don't. I don't do it. Okay. All right. So anyway. Oh God. Am I having a heart property? I'm sorry. I mean, fuck you. I know these are very. <laughs> fuck you. Can I tell you that story? Oh, no, I remember. It was a big day in my career. Bobby Lee is finally aware of me. <laughs> Am I on Bobby Lee's radar? See, this is what he's going to do. This is when things start to happen. See, is, I'm not going to allow this to happen. Reversal. I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to allow this to happen. Reversal. Carry on my wayward son. Yeah. There'll be peace when you are done. Boom, boom. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. <laughs> I'm a I'm a manifesting like come to me I'm fl a flame in be a moth. Well, mm. closed mouths don't get fed, babe. Yeah, but open mouths get dick. Oh my god, that's yeah, a yeah. good point. So yeah, yeah, guys, yeah. keep your mouths closed. So keep your mouth closed. Or if you want it, then yeah, open it. I also want to say that um, there's something in my eye. Oh, but by the way, um, Kalia's wearing the Kyla Run Summer Edition. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you wanted to say. That's a joke. That's what you wanted to say. Bobby's like, everyone shut up. Bobby was like, everyone shut up. I have something to say. I have something to say. Bobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> more, more, more. Do you have a joke? Do you have a joke? More. I want to keep up with one. Go ahead. You have one? Uh, that was good though. Yeah, that was I don't really want, good. I don't, I don't yeah, yeah, yeah. Top Kylo Ren. Yeah, yeah Kylo Ren Summer Edition. Can I take this off now? Then? Yeah, please. Since you've said your joke. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can take it off now. Episode two sixty four. Joe Coy self help pep cult. But when you first started stand up, like you you right away went into a, like a character, or did you try stand up? No, I went right away. I I like I would because I, my hair was long anyway. So I but just, were you that guy off the before stand up? I you was were always really, Bobby I was Lee. Little, I was a little weird. Yeah, I've always yeah. been a little weird. I would hang out in bookshops but never read the books. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I remember one time I was um, Allen Ginsberg was at a bookshop. Who's Allen Ginsberg? He's a poet. Oh, Allen Ginsberg. Yeah. Oop. Oh, boy, that made you look stupid, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, Bobby. <laughs> that made me laugh. Because you, you delivered it in such a way like, like, oh, he's a poet. <laughs> you guys obviously don't read. And then she was like, you mean? <laughs> and then you looked dumb. <laughs> Am I right? He, he delivered it like, I'm sorry, dum-dums. I didn't know I was talking to people that don't read. Yeah, yeah. He is a poet. And then she's like, oh, you mean, nah. and you were like, I don't, you're laughing. Let me make hey, sure hey, that we have it. You're correct. laughing way too hard, friend. You're laughing way too hard, my friend. Agree, it, it hurts me. Okay. Why do you do that? So anyway, Why do you always treat him the worst? <laughs> Like always, every time I'm on this show. Hey. The worst. Hey. He's such a nice guy. Yeah, yeah, he is very nice. So anyway, <laughs> I used to hang out in bookstore. Sorry about the Alan. Yeah, yeah. And Mr. Ginsburg. Um <laughs> this guy Dennis owned a book bookstore and um he goes, Ginsburg is here. Come hang out. And I and I used to hang out and we used to talk and stuff and drink coffee. You talk to him? 
Oh yeah, he wrote me a letter. <gasps> wow. Stop. Why isn't that hanging in here? I lost it. Oh my god, that's okay. Alan Ginsberg. I, in one of my yeah. I might be able to find it though, but yeah, he wrote yeah, you me. should find that one. He wrote me a little letter, you know. That's cool. Because he thought he found me to be um weird. Bro, I was just about to say it, and in my head I go, don't walk on him. Yeah. Let him let him deliver this one. Because I because I, you know, at the time obviously couldn't get girls, had no money, but I also would like I liked the local music and I would go to art shows and you know, I was like kind of like floofy in that way. You yeah. Know? And then I would just hang out at bookstores and play chess with people. Cool. Were you funny though? Like yeah, I was a funny guy, right? Yeah, I was funny, but it's like He was emo. I, I was kinda emo. Yeah. Yeah. I and, could see that. Yeah. I w- there was a point where I grew my hair down to my ass. Wow. You know what I mean? I had gained weight and I was kind of that guy for a while. And uh, I was just trying to find my uh, way. And then um, when the band kicked me out of the band, <laughs> um, Lax and Superb. I, you were really in a band? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's online. You can mm-hmm. see it. Oh, I got to yeah. watch this. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to post this. Yeah. <laughs> Episode 228, East Coast Fever with Chris and Giannis. Everybody, if it really affects you, like, people don't care. We figure out ways to deal with it. Like, even me. Like, it happened to me. I was on this show on Netflix, and I got fired for a joke because the, there was an international, like, competition, and the, the Chinese team was competing, and they f- fell off the obstacle course into the water, and they called it the Beast Blood, and I, and I didn't say that. I the competitor's name was Bin Fung, yeah. and I said, there goes Bin Fung into the duck sauce. Now, <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah, you know? Yes, and, 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 yes. And the, USA. The, yeah, USA, the, USA, 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 yeah. USA. USA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, and the hypocrisy was I got fired, whatever. But for that? For that, I got yeah. fired. Yeah. Be a comedian. But Bin Fung, Bin Fung retweeted the, the clip of me saying that. Bin Fung, who I said it about, yeah. was very, he was like, hilarious, it's so funny, blah, blah, blah. He wants to come to my comedy shows, but I got fired by this fat white woman named Barbara. Yeah, it's because yeah. Barbara has to fucking stand up yeah. for China yeah, it's when weird. it's like, you're fat fuck, you have duck sauce on your fingertips. And <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> So it's like, yeah, the, yeah. so it's the same thing with the middle of the country caring about the. It's like everybody wants to do the job for everybody else. It's like relax, man. Like yeah. relax. Like you know, we don't have to do all these things. Like you have to hire a black man and a woman. That demeans them. Yeah. We're all it, equal. That demeans yes, them. Yes. You know, like let everybody be fair and square. Well, I, I, where it's 2020, it's like I understand there's still subtle racism and and or maybe major racism in parts of the country, but it's like we get it. Like, come on, man. It's, like, you know, like it's, especially in show business, it's hard for everyone. Right. Even in like in 1999. Yeah. When I got Mad TV, they didn't want an Asian. Right. They had never had one. They even said to me, yeah. he's not gonna get it. Right. Right. And then yeah. when I did get it. Yeah. Right. It felt there was no movement or we. I was you know Asians weren't the it thing. No. Right. But I still had the opportunity, yeah. And I hit it out of the fucking park, yeah. And I got it. I got it. yeah. And, and and that's America. It's America. It's hard for everyone. It's- Episode two thirty nine. My first pandy. <laughs> I had was- one fucking meltdown yesterday uh, about, and what? I apologized for it. What happened? Did I not? Apo- I got on my hands and knees and I said, "I'm sorry." But that's after I I um threatened to not feed you. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Like when Pol Pot or you know some of these guys, they did what they did, right? They don't feel guilt. They don't apologize. But I immediately realized the errors of my wrongs, mm. and I got on my hands pot. and knees and I fucking apologized. I will tell you what happened mm. is is that um, the thing is is that well, let me say what I want to say. You can say what your you case. Say. Go ahead, sir. Okay, because um, yes, I, I thank you for thank you so much for um. For providing the things that, you know, that we need to survive, right? Mm-hmm. But Papa needs other things as well. And Papa Such has as? received K Minamoto, Luminati's, oh, uh, 50 yeah. cans of Diet Coke, um, but the di- but Portos, I Bakeable Treats, anything you, you have ever you desired, I have gotten you. <laughs> I know, but it didn't, I know, but. You have to say this is my first. Ep- <laughs> this is my first pandemic. I've never been. <laughs> it is. I've never been in one before. You gotta ease them in. You gotta right, ease so them I in. So I don't know what the fuck. So the next pandemic, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna be very well prepared. I see. All right. I'll have mm-hmm. all the diet cokes that I need. I'll have all the Lou Malana's pizza I need. I'll have all the portos and all the things prepared. I'll get a different. I'll get another freezer, because right now we don't have a lot of freezer space. But yeah. you know, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have. All the things ready, the next pandemic, all right? If it, there's an alien invasion, I probably won't do it right at first. 
because I've never been through an alien invasion. Do you understand what I'm saying? Is, yeah. is that we, we as people, we, you know, some people like me, I'm just a, I'm a, I'm a working class guy. Blue collar. I, I, I'm not educated. Episode 274. Bill Burr is on Bobby's radar. I know you don't like compliments. Um, you get a little uneasy about compliments. So I just try not to swing it your way. Um, yeah, why can't we just keep doing what we're doing here? No, but, <laughs> no because... I think that would be way more... <laughs> no, no, because it wouldn't be Tiger Belly if I didn't, you know what I mean? Make, make it, it weird? Make okay. it a little weird, but um, I'm just going to tell you how I discovered you. I, you know, I, I do all my whole career to you. <laughs> yeah. I was, no, 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 I no. was struggling until no, 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 Bobby Lee no, discovered no, I, me. Oh, no, 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 not discover you in terms of like, you d- did it on your own, obviously, but no, in terms of my, my awareness of you. Oh. Can I tell you that story? Oh, no, I remember it was a big day in my career. Uh, no, Bobby Lee is finally aware of me. <laughs> <laughs> Am I on Bobby Lee's radar? See, this is what he's going to do. This say. is when things start to happen. See, this, I'm not going to allow this to happen. Reversal. I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to allow this to happen. Reversal. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to plug away. You know what I mean? Listen, you can talk to him all you want. <laughs> I can hear it. <laughs> so uh, plexiglass. It's not soundproof. So years ago, years ago... Um, I had no idea who you were, and um, I was in a car with Steve Byrne and Ken Jung, and we're fl- um, driving from San Francisco to L.A. because we, we had to do gigs together at that time because we couldn't draw on our own. And so uh, he, it, Steve Byrne loved Oasis. Mm-hmm. We kept playing oh, yeah. o- Oasis over and over again. Like He still s- does. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, give it a rest, <laughs> right? They have three songs, good songs, Champagne Supernova, Wonderwall and some other one. Okay. Don't look back in that, That's it. Great songs, but that's it. So, he, and I, we go, well, what do we listen to? And he, and he goes, well, I have a friend from New York. You know, he, he you're, he, you know, we have, I have his comedy CD. And we're like, we just, well, I'm not fucking listening to fucking comedy right now, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? We're the fucking eight hours in the fucking comedy. The fucking with some open micers fucking CD or whatever, right? He puts it in. No, no, it was very funny, but there was one bit about, you in the subway, and then you saw some guy pick a girl up, and then your high pitched voice. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I was grabbing yeah. by the He's back. He's hurting of me. Oh, yeah. or the bit, right? Yeah. And we laughed so hard, and that's when, you know what I mean? Went out. Oh, Bill Burr, Bill Burr, Bill Burr, and then um, now you're one of the greatest comics on the on, on the planet. How does that feel? <laughs> What was that character you just? I don't even take it. <laughs> no, it's just. I'm plugging uh, away. I'm doing all right. You're doing all right. Well, I, it's b- great because of the fact that it's like you know, here's the, here's the deal. The honest truth is this. I just love that whole body line. Okay, here's <laughs> here's the deal. Here's the here's honest. The, let's get real. <laughs> let's get real. So, um, you know, I'm almost fifty, and I feel like. Um, Things are kind of slowly happening for me as well, right? It's just nice to see, like, what are you, you know, talking about? You've been on fucking television for like almost thirty years. What are you talking about? Mad TV. Oh my god! And everything else. Our, our, okay, first of all, Mad TV was like doing community theater. That's how much we got paid. I'm not. Well, I'm just. I'm just. That, that I'm just everybody. telling you. Just, I know. Oh, just, did you get fucked over in show business? <laughs> 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 did you think there was a big pot of gold and then somebody else took it from you? Yeah, that's what happens. But you were still on TV. You still walk down the street and people are like, oh my God, it's Bobby Lee from Mad TV. Okay, fine. Fine, you're right. And I'm grateful. Okay? But I'm just saying the that... The th- empathy that I have for you right now is just awesome. <laughs> Thanks, though. How much of your day is yeah. trying to pick this up <laughs> and keep it yeah, yeah. buoyant? I know. I know. See, the thing about him, though... I have to stand, okay? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. The thing about him is, is that... I feel like I'm getting cross-examined. <laughs> yeah, the thing about him is, is that he he has ways... He, he's one of those guys, like Whitney is like that, too. Mm-hmm. Where she sees, you know, me behaving in a certain way to garner some sort of sympathy. sympathy or, you know, I, I'm doing something psychological, right? So that I can get something out of some... With, mm-hmm. and, and he sees through it where other people, they fall into it and they go, oh, no, you know what I mean? And they, you know what I mean? I, I've just been around a lot of dirtbags, so I... I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been taking advantage of a couple of times. I know when it's happening. Yeah, but you could see through that. But I'm just saying that. Um, let's go back to what I was doing originally, which is um, you're doing well, and congratulations. That's all I wanted to fucking say. Thank you. I appreciate. God. that I appreciate that. 
I mean, you're killing it. I love the Mandalorian, right? You all of a sudden, mm-hmm. I didn't even know you were on it. And I, you have <laughs> when you're watching something you love, right? And then you see a guy that you know up there killing it, <laughs> you go, "Oh my god, it's fucking crazy!" Right? <laughs> and then like, and then he's in the the the, the, the Avatar movie, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and a bunch of you know, he's killing it. That's all I'm gonna say. I, I, I know you don't I like compliments. I caught up to you. I know boy. you don't like compliments. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why don't comics? Why do comics not like compliments? I know. I think some of them do. Look, I, I, I respect. You know, other comics liking what I do. I do enjoy that shit, but I don't want to sit here, and and just like listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving him the worst experience. I just want to like hang out and I, make I, whoever's I, watching this I, laugh. You don't have to go James Lipton. <laughs> <laughs> Episode two twenty nine. Tiffany Haddish spreads the joy. <laughs> How did we first meet? Uh, the first time we met uh, officially yeah. was in front of the Laugh Factory. <laughs> yeah. I was doing Comedy Playground with Kevin Hart and Chris Spencer and everybody. And Pookie was executive producing it. And Pookie wanted to do like a, a prank kind of show. And so um, I was dressed up kind of like butch-like. And you had uh, came to the club. You were going to do a spot yeah. on our show. And you came up with your girlfriend at the time. This yeah. was like pff, probably 12 years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, a long time ago. ago. And uh, and I was my, the the prank was I was going to say that you were calling my girlfriend. And um, I'm about to beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> right. And he was fucking scared. Because I didn't. <laughs> really know her right no you didn't know me at yeah, all yeah so i got scared and then i go who the fuck is that yeah you were freaking freak you was fucking scared yeah i, I was w- like man you out here calling my girl <laughs> trying to eat her pussy i eat that pussy I, da, da, da. like you don't do that then she don't want your dick oh egg roll motherfucker <laughs> so imagine so now imagine like, I don't know you. I don't know your girl. You, know you, girl. you know who the fuck you are. <laughs> so then, right, you know, I have this thing of, um, and it's a part of my character defects, I guess, but I, I go, what's her name? Mm. She just embarrassed me, right? <laughs> and then somebody said Tiffany Haddish. And I stored that, right? Yeah, and he's like, I fucking hate Tiffany. Cash. I fucking so hate time and definite. <laughs> and then every time I would see you, no more was I dressed like a butch lesbian or anything. And I'm like, hey, it's me. Hey, Bobby, it's me, Tiffany. Like, man, that was funny, honey. You're like, I don't like you. Get out my face. <laughs> right. Leave me alone. That was fucked up what you did. And I'm yeah. like, I apologize. It was just a prank. It's I, not real. I know. I'm sorry. But, you know, but, but, because, but she is, right? For years, she was so nice to me. Yeah, well, I was nice. To, I met you before that, but you didn't. I don't think you remember. Oh, me. Was I that? was really young yeah, at the yeah. comedy store. Yeah, and yeah. I would be like, "You're the funniest Asian guy I know," and you're like, "Thanks," and then you just yeah. walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Weird ass black chick. <laughs> but you know, there came a time, maybe three or four years after that. Mm-hmm. And this is, t- I mean, I mean, running into her like you know. 12 times a year she's just so sweet and saying hi to me even sometimes i wouldn't even say hi back yep she kept doing it I, it's baby i'm sorry constantly killing him with the kindness yeah killing him with the kindness and then finally he's like who the fuck are you really <laughs> yeah yeah so we had a little conversation yeah and then we've been cool ever we've been since. cool ever since and um and this is way before you know her I- I- explosion. Yeah, you know? way yeah. Before I was definitely unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, we're gonna take a really quick break to share some amazing sponsors with you. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy nicotine. You guys, I've tried the other brands. Yeah. Of nic- nicotine gum, Lucy is the only one where I can feel it. Yeah. I can feel it working for me, and that's how I live my life, Gilbert. I want things to work for me. Nicotine. Lucy Nicotine is a company founded by, uh, get this, Caltech scientists Smart. and former smokers looking for a better and cleaner nicotine alternative. Finally, tobacco alternatives that don't suck the suckers. Okay? Yeah. It's researched and developed for three years to be made for people, not patients. Mm-hmm. Lucy has created nicotine gum with four milligrams of nicotine that contains in three flavors. And I love all these flavors. Wintergreen, cinnamon, and pomegranate. Oh. Babe? Yes, Lucy has also has a lozenge. With, so powerful. With four milligrams of nicotine and cherry ice flavor. I mean, Each and every flavor tastes great, and they really do. Yeah. And it's convenient and discreet. You know, you could be at a rave. 
right? And people are you're dancing, right? Yeah. And you could stick stick one in your mouth without people knowing. Wow. Ninjas use it all the time in Japan y- 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 because it's so discreet. It's yeah. 2020, guys. Get rid of your cigarettes, unplug your vape, throw out your dip, and get some Lucy nicotine gum or lozenges. This is the real deal. A subscription to Lucy comes directly to your door each month. It's so simple, and you don't have to leave your house because Lucy has delivery down. Tell us more about it, Gil. Tiger Belly with Bobby Lee listeners. Go to lucy.co and use promo code TigerBelly to get 20% off all products, including gum or lozenges. That's lucy.co and use promo code TigerBelly at checkout. Also, I have to give this disclaimer. Warning, this product contains nicotine derived from tobacco. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Lucy.co and be sure to use that promo code TigerBelly. TigerBelly is brought to you by... By Manscaped. Ooh. Who is the best in men's below-the-waist grooming? Manscaped, Manscaped is taking over the world. Is now available in all of Europe, Canada, UK, and Australia. I have a personal wow. story about Manscaped, my friend. Please tell me. Um, right now, my pubes are still shaved. I don't want to show. I don't. But it, I promise you. Yeah. They're not but shaved. They're groomed down. It's groomed down. They've been Manscaped. They've been Manscaped. <laughs> Manscaped. The world is about to get a lot less hairy. That's right, folks. You can now purchase Manscaped products. If you haven't had access to Manscaped thus far, you've gone years without using the right tools for the job. You want the, you know, when you're an archaeologist? Yeah. And you're going in and getting um, prehistoric items. Just like Laura Dern. Just like Laura Dern did, right, in Jurassic, right? You need the right tools. Mm. And that's what Manscaped gives you. Hey, I've used Manscaped to Womanscaped. Yeah, you what? have. Yeah, you should have. Of course. Anything else about that? Or do you just you want to share tried, that? No, but, shave your pubes, Kalila. 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 I felt like that. that if you ever tried the Nonport 3.0, the electric trimmer, that's the you've one, been missing out. That's the one this I is, use on my Womanscaped. But oh. this, this is the greatest ball hair trimmer on planet Earth. I don't have balls, but I have... Your, 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 your lips are like balls. <laughs> <laughs> and I want, to, I want to see a doctor science about alert. that. Okay? A science alert, okay? Their third generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents to keep your nuts smooth like a baby's butt. What? Mm. Yeah, one of the one of my favorite things to use is their weed whacker. Not for myself, but Bobby has these really, really long nose hairs that kind of hook around his nose and oh, it drives geez. me crazy. Mm-hmm. So it's one of our couple's hobbies that we do and I Because my nose hairs does what Salvador Dali does. <laughs> I mean, his, I'm trying to be artistic about it. Yeah, yeah, but it's just too much. Yeah, okay. So they curl upwards, and that's one of the couple's things that we do together, and I just weed whack his nose hairs. Wow. Guys, let's get that bush to tush clean so you can be prepared at all times. Get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash tigerbelly. Manscaped is my new best friend. Get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash tigerbelly. That's 20% off free shipping at manscaped.com slash tigerbelly. Your balls will thank you, and so will your relationship with your wife or husband. Enjoy the rest of the show. I'm glad they implemented that because in the, uh, what I would say about a lot of the millennials, even though they don't really work hard, they do have compassion. They yeah. do. A lot of the youth do have compassion. They do. Greta Thunberg, Thunberg. No, but even like my <laughs> my nieces and nephews in middle school and high school now, they're kinder kids. Yeah. They really yeah. are. Yeah, yeah. Well, because they the whole bullying campaign and, yeah. and seeing the results of that and what we're teaching the children now from what we've been through. Yeah. You know, that helps a lot. But there's still a lot of people that is fucked up. But I haven't met one person that has that's successful that hasn't had some kind of struggle, especially when it comes to women. And some kind of struggle, some kind of abuse, some kind of something had to happen before they could get to the next level. Can I propose an idea? We do a show about the struggle. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not a pitch of a show, <laughs> but it's more. I always thought that the bullying that I even my dad but the bullying that I received in high school or whatever or middle school right I don't look at it as a negative thing though I look at it as a positive because it really did make me grow a layer of skin Mm -hmm. and it made me go this is without this idea I don't know if I would have survived in this business you'll see that thought yeah I'll show you Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make it that that you are right about that. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't be where I'm at if I w- didn't have the watch this. Watch this. You gonna see? Oh, oh, you don't think I can do it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch me do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that feeling. You're right about that. Right. So what I'm saying is, is that if you get rid of, you know, what I mean, those things, will still like. I don't know if I had if I had a great upbringing. If I did was never bullied and I was white. I don't know if I would have been, you know, because I know a lot of white dudes. I started with stand up. I can even name you the name. I won't, right? But 
Yeah, I will. Jonathan Gotsick, <laughs> Joey <laughs> Marmo. Nobody knows them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My, yeah I know. But like after like five or six years, like we got to go back to Connecticut. Yeah, I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a teaching job. Yeah. And you're like, I I, I still have to win. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that thought was because I think I was like I had to struggle as a kid and survive. And I don't know. I mean, or you could just be like George Kimmel. No abuses. Great parents. Great upbringing. He got some struggles. He not sharing. Oh. I've asked him this question and he says you no. You were horse fucked. <laughs> oh, that's what it was. No. That it was I, I'm horse telling fucked? You, Tiffany, I've asked him so many times. I looked I'm in like, his what? eyes. He got hurt in there. He just not sharing. <laughs> he, he you know what? You know what the hurts A lot from? of white men, are know, they know how to suppress it and then they assert it in different ways. Like, like it comes out like, of new jackets like that. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? A members only? What is that? <laughs> it's members only without the, the sign. Members only. What is that? Hey. What? Suede. Suede. This he fucking guy. He uses his aggression to fuck the pussy up. <laughs> yeah, you know what? He only fucks minorities, though. Mm, well. <laughs> Have you ever had a white girlfriend, George? This is a big misconception. <laughs> you've had Indian. You've had black. You've had Asian, Korean, Chinese, everything. Yeah. When was your last white girlfriend? See? It's already too long. <laughs> Don't ask him. He doesn't. He doesn't have a fucking she mic. wouldn't date me, so then uh, I had to wait until it all came full circle. So oh I god! Years my later, sister is laughing so. Hard. Oh, oh no. my god! It's so funny it that sounds like he only likes to date women that have souls. Uh, <laughs> there you go, George. You're a soul fucker. <laughs> That's what it is. Something different from him that he can learn from, probably. Teach you compassion, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That is a cool thing about you, though, dude. Episode 265. Michael Bisbing, Rebecca, and the Blue Check. Was just a, uh, a memorable moment. Let's you know? back up a second. Yeah. I don't think uh-huh. you have uh-huh. a very clear recollection of that fight night. I have, no, we, I don't. We have video well, footage. He, we have video footage of you reacting to Bisping oh. winning. Oh, or winning I need against to see Rockwell. this. I need to see I will, the I will look for it. Will you keep, no, no, keep going? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. What is it? Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, Bobby. <laughs> Relax. This is going to be really <laughs> awkward. You have Sit down. No, 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 a force field in between you and me. Don't worry. I'm retired. Okay, what is it? What is it? Sit down. This is going to get really awkward for you in okay, a second. Okay, okay, okay. So we had, a, we had our entire family <laughs> over. And your brother and I, you were acting like the Oracle. You said there was not a chance in fucking hell that he could ever, or anyone. And he wonders why I won't give him a picture at the comedy show. (laughs) 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 And I remember this. And then your brother and I and Gilbert, we said, I wouldn't. I wouldn't speak so fast. We had you, man. The whole night. We had We had you. We had. And then he knocks him out. And you ran to three different bedrooms, came back with your tail between your legs, and you were in total disbelief. Do you remember that? You said there was not a chance in Thanks, fucking Bobby. hell. Thanks, Bobby. I thought we were I know. right there, bud. Hold on. I thought I don't, Bobby I, goes I, to his podcast. I don't, recall it. I don't recall it like that. We have video footage. I feel footage. like we're brothers now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He crushes me. All right, we'll, you know we'll, what? I'll send you the video, and we'll post this yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Breaks Here's my heart. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Wait, hold on. Rewind it, rewind it, rewind it, rewind it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is this going to embarrass me? No, yes, you know yes, what? yes, yes, oh, yes. All right, all right, all right. Watch. Bobby's like, I had a thousand on Rockhold. A thousand dollars on Luke Rockhold, then, didn't you? Luke Rockhold is going to break every bone in his body. This is a real man, guys. He's talking about Luke Rockhold. Luke Rockhold? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Look at Gilbert and I, we were excited because we called you. it. Well, thank you very much, everybody that's showing excitement. And I apologize to the one person that's disappointed, Bobby. <laughs> I love you, you did it for your family. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Be honest, be honest, be honest. You guys recreated this recently. No. 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 Filmed this recently. Bro. You, did. you knew I was coming. You thought, let's play. 2016. Film. 2014. <laughs> well, that's great. That's Thank you. No, let, let me well, with this guy, of course I got a suspicious mind. Because he's from San Diego. Yeah, here's, so. here's the thing. All right. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's regroup. Yeah. Okay. We watch every fight. We watch every one of your fights. Okay. That's, that's number one. I haven't had one for a long time. Okay. I know, but we did. Right, 
And I have to be honest with you, okay? Please. That was very real. I'll tell you why. <laughs> because Luke Rockhold is from Santa Cruz or whatever, right? And he skateboards. I'm from San Diego, <laughs> right? So I feel like he's like- Do you skateboard? No. I used to. All right, no, I was going to say, so he's from Santa Cruz, you're from San Diego, nowhere near each other. <laughs> These skateboards, you don't <laughs> He's as white as they come, and he's as Asian as they come. I'm failing to see how, like, you guys are boys and you're connected. How many times has he driven through oh, traffic true. and uh, uh, smog that's true. and done the podcast? How many times? Let me ask you this, Michael. Let me ask you this. How many times has Luke Fuckface Rockhold done my podcast? None. Zero. I wouldn't ask him. All right? All right. That's so true. That, that is true. That's number two true. Number, and also, I'm sweating. Here's a, <laughs> okay, here's a second thing, okay? Is is that sure? 2016, right? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was the night where I laid down in bed and I became a Michael Bisbing fan. All right. That was the night. That was it. Yes. Yes. All right. I and watched your season of The Ultimate. Same. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know what that was. Yes. Okay? You were a little behind. I was a little behind. So mm -hmm. what I'm saying is, is that okay? Yeah. At the time. <laughs> that's a real man. <laughs> so that's a real Shut man. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, everybody. All right. At the time, right, I was rooting for Luke Rockhold. And at the time, when it's you okay. beat him. Open your eyes. I, I am opening my eyes. I'm Asian, you fuck face. Right? Yeah, that's as uh, wide as they go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right. And, um, and at the time, I was rooting for him. And when he, you knocked him out, it was such a shock to my system. But then I was reborn like a phoenix. Wow. Oh, the right? catalyst, yeah. And I, and I, and I was Heaven. convinced from that day forward, mm -hmm. right, that you were the guy. Okay. <laughs> For you think when you for, fought like George St. Pierre that I wanted him to win? I wanted More you to win. More than likely. No. Well, come on. Everybody likes George. Let's be honest. He's a sweetheart. Episode 235, Poway Hall of Fame. Wait, I had a question earlier <laughs> regarding the fish since you had mentioned sturgeon. Uh-huh. <laughs> When you grow up in America, is it something to that you guys learn in elementary school, like different kinds of fish that no. you eat? Or no. is it like salmon tuna and then that's it? Just and fish. fish. See, in the Philippines, we have to learn a lot. Tangigi, anduhao, mulmul, bangos, lapu-lapu. Like, we have to know so many different types of fish because we're an island nation, right? And when you go to the fish market, you know exactly what type of What are you looking up, Gilbert? Filipino fish. All right. Look at me right now, all right? Name me 20 fish. Just look at me. Rattle off. Uh, swordfish. Okay. Uh, halibut. Uh... Uh, sea bass, uh, sturgeon, uh -huh. uh, Alaskan salmon, uh, white salmon. Oh, uh, no, no, salmon is salmon. Salmon, yeah. is, salmon. salmon is salmon. We're yeah, just going with salmon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you know, we're playing the those one rules. That's, the ones that's related to salmon also could be orange. Okay. On the inside. Uh, we're talking barracudas now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, barracudas a fish. We're talking about barracudas. <laughs> barracudas. Name six different kinds of sharks. We're shark. talking about the anchovies. Come on, y'all. Yeah. You that. can do 20. I can do milkfish. Uh, I can do all day. <laughs> You like mackerel? Yeah. I'll just yeah, name mackerel. a whole, whole, whole sushi list. All right, yeah. all right, all right, all right. I, I, I'll have another question. You can't for say you. barracuda. Name me um, fifteen tons of nuts. Okay. <laughs> we're talking. Ten, about let's do ten. Let's do ten. Ten, ten nuts. All right, we're talking about that almond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got that walnut. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got the cashews. Yeah, yeah. All right, we got those peanuts. Yeah. No, no, it's a legume. Peanut's not a, a nut. <laughs> just, just give it to him. Just give it to him. <laughs> a peanut. A peanut. A peanut, you're in. A peanut, thank you. Uh, we're talking about... Uh, her, her, Stop saying what we're talking about. All right. <laughs> Hawaii, I Hawaii, Hawaii. Uh, macadamia okay, nut. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, South America. Uh, Brazil. And the green one. Yeah. Uh, pistachio. Yeah, dog. Okay, keep going. Tag out. Finish it, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, about Christmas. Think Christmas. Chestnuts. Okay, the there other we type of uh, weird, the ones, my favorite kind of pie. Pecan. Okay, there you go. There and then go. the other kind of similar to a chestnut. <laughs> Tag out. What have you? Walnut. Walnut. Yeah, that's 10, bro. Give me a top 10. Okay, I want you to give me, t I'm trying to think of something also ridiculous, like fish. <laughs> go ahead. Nuts. Give me a 10. Okay. Okay, 10 types of, 15 types of birds. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. What? Hey, Bobby, what you talking about? What's up? I'm talking about. <laughs> I be talking about. I be talking about hummingbird, bitch. What? Parrots. Two. Uh, birds of paradise. Okay, yes, yes. Three. Three. I'm talking about uh, eagles. eagles. Four. Hawks. Five. I'm talking about baby. Uh, <laughs> baby I'm, I'm talking. Oh, wait, uh, 
The ones that drops babies. Uh, a sw- oh. uh, 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 swans. <laughs> but yeah. swan, it's swan, 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 yeah. swan is the swan. one. Swan. Flamingo, dog. Oh, yeah. oh. oh. What I'm you talking about? What you talking about? <laughs> what, what I'm talking about? I'm talking about... Um, <laughs> three more, babe. Three more. Come on, man. Uh, think f- giant uh, wheat uh, A seagull, man. Seagull. Okay, I'm talking good. about pigeons, dog. Pigeons. Right. I'm talking about babe. New York City, bro. And done. Yeah. Oh, more, doves, babe. baby. Doves. Doves, done. Those Prince pew, shit. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. That's what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah. Whew, that was intense. Yeah, let's give yeah. Kalila a top ten. I already named like six. <laughs> no, but something's fifth. hard. What's something hard? <coughs> She's smart. She's a like, how about name me ten Spielberg movies? Oh God, go. I can't. You go and I can't. go. E. T. But what yeah. you talking what about? You, what you talking about? What you talking about? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm talking about E. T. Yeah, you are. I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking no, about? Okay. I'm talking about. Wait, did he do one of the Transformers? No. Uh, no. Uh, he, he produced, produced one. No. He produced what you directed? Well, E.T. Go. E. T. Well, you're talking about E.T. No, cl- no, talking about E.T. All classics. That's one. He, I'm talking about J- Jaws. Yeah. Jaws. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> hang on one second. The Terminal. Is that yeah, 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 um, um, not what? Not Jurassic yeah, Park? Yes, yes, yes. Come on, say oh, it. Oh, Jurassic Park. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm talking about. I got one. I got one. Right, right. Oh, then uh, you have to give me clues. Like I gave you guys. Uh, uh, I'm talking about Schindler's List. Yeah. 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 Blur that out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about. Uh, Go give me clues. Yeah. With your uh, charades uh, now. Bam, 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 bam. I'm talking about the color purple. Yeah. 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 Cut, Steve cuts. I'm talking about. Ah, a boulder. Oh, oh, Jumanji. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what you're talking about. That's not what you're talking about. Come on. That's not what I'm talking about. Come on. Come on. I'm talking about. Come on. How about bam, 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 bam? Oh, catch me if you can. That's not what I'm. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what he's talking about. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I keep singing. Bum, 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 bum. You know it. Okay. It's Close not... Encounters of the Third Oh, oh come on. Okay, keep going, George. We'll what see. do you mean? To... Okay. All right. Okay. Dr. Jones. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm talking about Indiana. Yeah. 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 Oh my, oh my two God. more, two more, two more, two, two more. more. Yeah, yeah. Two more. Uh, uh, you guys can't even fucking Bob, do that. Bobby's friend Purdy was in this. I'm talking about. Purdy was in fucking... this. Fucking. Hold on one second. We did that. I'm talking about. <laughs> Purdy was in it. The animated game one. Yeah. 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 And not. not oh, the... oh, uh, Ready Player Play, One. Yeah. yeah. How about this one? <laughs> I'm talking. Wait, did we do that one already? No, she hasn't done that one. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do it. That's a nay. That's hold a nay. On, hold on, nay. Hey, that's hold that. On. I don't know this Hang one. Hang on. What? Sea biscuit? No, no. no. Ah. <laughs> I'll just tell you, war horse. War horse? Oh, ah, yeah. war horse. One more, one more. Just one get more, one more on your more. own. I gotta guess. Okay, one. save all the brothers in war. Save all the brothers in war. Oh, I'm talking about saving, saving private, private Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, yeah, there we word. go, babe. There we go. There we go. Damn, that was hard. What an intense oh, game. That's that was a fun. Game. I never want to play that again. That's our new segment yeah, every yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. also duel. A duel. Oh. Mm. Yeah, uh, okay, so he had to pull out the one before Jaws. That, was, <laughs> that the, was an independent film. That was an art house film. Film major. That nobody knows. Columbia film. You haven't seen Duel? I love Duel. Oh. It's about well, the then, fucking then, trucks. Then you know it. Yeah, I loved it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Very good. Glad I... Episode 244. Forehead Fireworks with Bretman Rock and Big Ed. Bretman, before you leave, um, will you say hi to my niece? She's your biggest fan hi to in her the niece. world. No, come, no, on, come, come on, come on, come on. No, she's here, she's here. <laughs> George, oh, screenshot she's this, George. Screenshot shot this. Right, get down, get down. Hey, there she is. Oh, you're looking cute. Yeah, yeah. Say something. Hey, girl. Hi, Bretman. Hi, I you love you so much. Why did you I want to be like you, okay? <laughs> Thank you. I love me too, but I love you more. Oh, Thank you. so sweet, uh, buddy. What did you do today, girl? Nothing. I'm just here with them listening. Um, that's like my sister. She's like, I'm only here for the video. <laughs> Episode 252. Theo Vaughn is good and plenty. Bro. Yeah. I've I've been to, in my lifetime, I've probably been to 100,000 AA meetings. Mm-hmm. No. I've laughed maybe twice. Wow. Like truly laughed. This dude, because in Zoom ones, right? <laughs> 
all I did was I just switched to his camera, <laughs> even when other people are talking. Right? What a lurker! I know, dude, I was <laughs> lurking on you, bro. Other people were like, talk, you know, you know, other people are sharing. Yeah. My wife, you know, she has COVID, right? Oh, I know. I know. Sad. You know what I mean? My dog. He's crazy when people get yeah. yeah or whatever, right? But I have just Theo on the thing and just watching him listening. Mm-hmm. It was making me laugh so hard, bro. You'd be doing like this with your hands. Well, that's, uh, yeah, I get fired up. Some of the people share. I stuff. know you were like into it, but it was making. He wasn't purposely making me laugh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just the way he listens mm-hmm. is humorous. Yeah, it's hard to listen. It's hard to listen for a long time. I feel like in a row. You know. I know, dude. Some of those AA meetings on Zoom. Do you guys take breaks? No, man. Like, isn't that what they tell? Isn't that why like classes are like fifty minutes long? Because I don't think your brain's supposed to work for three hour stretches yeah. there's this one that was uh, on a monday night where it's a men's one mm-hmm. and well dude don't act like she didn't just say something let's honor with the <laughs> <laughs> no, I heard what thanks said. theo i love you so much but theo. you just listened right over you just didn't even <laughs> you're like okay i'm gonna just be quiet for a second <laughs> sorry but i'm trying to earn one of those freaking boxed tits y'all got in the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Inside, you know you're yeah. right. I apologize. You have a box tip. You are. I apologize. Oh, yeah. oh, no, 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 it's fine. No, it's I, fine. I honestly apologize. You're right. That is something that I'm trying to work on in therapy. And, you know, I do listen to everything she says. Right. But I'm trying to be more attentive to the things that she says and her feelings and stuff. Mm-hmm. And she has, you know, and we both. She has beautiful points. I think she makes beautiful she points. She does make beautiful points. And <laughs> she's also a, a beautiful person in her heart. Yes. All right, guys. Yeah. Enough. enough. And, no, 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 no. And I, Let's keep enough. going, man. And I, no, Look, I'm not going to keep going. I'm if she were alive enough. today, <laughs> she would be, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not going to keep going. She'd be amazed at all these people. What I'm going to say is, you know, baby. Mm. Baby, I love you. Oh, yeah. Baby, I care. You're my little boy, boy princess from an far away island. Yeah, yeah. yeah mm. baby. Episode 254. Esther Pavitsky and the Amazon primetime meltdown. I tried all of it. Just you don't not think a- that I've tried? I spent thousands of dollars. <laughs> they just don't arrive at the house. So I'm doing it wrong. Oh my God. One time, Esther, there's this one time, and I'll never forget this for the rest of my life. And I'm so glad that my niece, Juliana, was there to witness this whole meltdown. But basically, he decided we were on our way to the post office because I had to mail stuff. And he threw a tantrum about what a bitch I was for not helping him out with his prime time because he couldn't sign up for Amazon Prime and then the whole way down he was just in a a rage meltdown and 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 I told him because I think I don't know what it was I was like can we wait till we're done with the windy hills for me to set your account up because I get dizzy when I read my phone and which put him into a deeper rage. Because she did it in spite. She could have done it then. No. And I was like, we'll wait till the bottom of the hill. Don't wait for the bottom of the hill. And then we'll park and I'll, I'll fix your prime time for you. <laughs> yeah. And so, remember so that? So I do remember that. And, and I apologize. You, profici- I apologize profusely. But what I'm saying to you is, is that <laughs> the reason why I ask now for a freezer and other things is because I am unable to do it. I don't yeah. have the c- capabilities or the abil- uh, you know ability to... L- to order things. Do you sleep in a bassinet? <laughs> What's a bassinet? For babies. For babies. That's my dream. This is <laughs> like I just what are you, I you think, say, are you calling me a baby? No. Why say why'd you say do I sleep in a bassinet? No, let me explain. I think two things. One, <laughs> yeah. you have it you have it so good because you have him completely dependent on you. Mm. He can't yes, even step into the real world without right. you. So right. you're like you own him and yeah. you have it good because you have a full time caregiver. Episode two thirty one. Andrew Dice Clay and the one leg up. What do you think is gonna come out between the both of us? An alien? Oh, you planning that already? Yeah, we're planning it, yeah. So. We've been six years together. Seven. Seven years. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, Andrew. I never saw her. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I mean, I'm not at the store all the time. I know, I know. Yeah. Around, she doesn't come, around. but yeah, it's, yeah. But you think that if we had a child that Well, would... I, I think if... if <laughs> all right, you got to do one leg up. Okay. Oh. To get her pregnant? Yes. One leg up. What do you mean one you, leg up? You give her a command. Like, you're in the bed. All right, you could start missionary as a, as a warm-up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? <laughs> you know, th- that, that's what I do. 
<laughs> you did not even look, give me the end of the story. It, it, then I could tell you what to do. Okay. So what do you mean, the end of our story? No, no, I was telling you a story about the story. what I learned finish the story. as a kid because your audience <laughs> yeah, yeah. is going to go, he didn't finish saying what he was saying. Right, right. But we could always go back to it, right? No, but I'm going to forget it. We're going to get into this other thing. <laughs> okay, about, let's finish about that. Getting let's finish leg that. Up. Yep. Oh, my bad. My bad. Go ahead. No, finish. it's not a bad. It's just you <laughs> went a different way. I know. I a bad fucked would be it. Like I fucked it up. I fucked up. it up. No, a bad would be if you were backing up and hit my car. That would be bad. That would be bad. And there'd be consequences. I would pay for it. Like, I'm not calling a cop. Oh. No. You know what I mean? Right, like, right, 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 right. Because of the asshole drivers yeah. that don't want to use a blinker and make U-turns wherever they feel the urge. Yeah, <laughs> but you're doing it now but, by but, diverting but, from the story. Hey, everyone, we're going to just take another quick break to share some amazing sponsors with you. Calm. Oh. Calm. Yeah. Calm. You, calm. You guys, calm. Um, I, used to, I, I used to take chemicals to go to sleep. Oh, no. I used to inject myself with chemicals to go to sleep. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, and I used to take pills and all kinds of stuff. Oh, boy. And I don't do it anymore. Do you know why? Why? I have a new app. What's it it's called? called? I'll tell you what it's called. <laughs> it's called Calm. Ah. And it's, it, it really is, it's like the most powerful way to improve your overall health and happiness. Calm is an app designed to help you <laughs> ease stress and get the best sleep of your life. And when you, and when you relieve anxiety and, and improve your sleep, you feel better in every part of your life. Yeah. My favorite part of Calm, though, yeah, they have the, um, you know, what they call um, field recordings. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the raindrops, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Or the ocean breeze. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or you're in a forest, you know what I mean, with little, you know, animals. They crazy. also have a really... <laughs> They also have a really large library of guided meditations, which is the ones that I do every she, night. She loves it. But you know what my favorite is in Calm? Yeah. It's the stories, bro. They have bedtime stories that goes right to sleep, mm -hmm. right? They have one, and they have the best soothing voices, celebrities, A-list. Which one's your favorite? Stephen Fry. That's your favorite? No. Laura Dern. Kel Laura Dern is. Do you wow. know why? Why? Because of Star Wars. She was the purple-haired lady. Exactly. She was? She, she was yeah. the captain. She was the captain of the purple-haired lady, right? And she was, the, what is she, like, the woman's right one. Yeah, but she was calm during it. She was very calm during it. But if Oh, you, gosh, you guys, you're right. I thought we were talking about Next trust, Gen for some reason. No, no. not Next Gen. No, no, no. Anyway, <laughs> over 85 million, anyway, babe, or 85 million people. Because I was thinking world. of Jordi LaForge, who also does tell stories she for does, calm. He does one as well, and I love Jordi. Yeah, okay? different friends. And his first, yeah. and his real name is LaVar Burton. Yeah. He was also Kunta Kente. From Roots. From Roots. Yeah. Did you know that? No, yeah. Back to calm. Million, back to calm. 85 million people around the world use calm yeah. to take care of their minds and get better sleep. Harry Styles also tells a story on there. And uh, we love the style, man. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. tell them more. For listeners of the show, Calm is offering a special limited time promotion of 40% off a Calm premium subscription at calm.com slash belly. That's 40% off unlimited access to Calm's entire library, and new content is added every week. Get started today at calm, C-A-L-M dot com slash belly. That's calm.com slash belly. Hi, hi, Roman. Hi, hi. <laughs> you guys, is, is this true? It can be awkward or embarrassing to talk about erectile dysfunction. Yeah. Usually we brush it off or blame ourselves. And I, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I blame myself all the time. No. Come on, buddy, I say. <laughs> but Roman, Roman, is here to get you, give you, is here to get you the advice you want and to help you with no shame. Wow. How often do you use excuses like, I had a long day at work or I'm not feeling it? I use those all the time. Yeah. Even though I don't work at all. Isn't it easy to talk about erectile dysfunction? But Roman makes it easy to discuss and treat ED, hmm. which is erectile dysfunction. Yeah. A healthy life includes a healthy sex life. And if you struggle with erectile dysfunction, many of you do, and I know you, John, mm -hmm. you may not feel like your best at self. But if you want help with ED, Roman connects you with a real U.S. licensed healthcare professional who can prescribe the medicine you need. And that's all we need. Tell them more. 
with Roman, you can get a free online evaluation and ongoing care for ED, all from the comfort and privacy of your home. A healthcare professional will work with you to find the best treatment plan. If medication is appropriate, Roman will ship you real medicine with free two-day shipping. The whole process is straightforward, simple, and discreet. Getting getting started is simple. Just go to GetRoman.com slash TigerBelly and complete an online visit. Erectile dysfunction used to be tough to talk about, but now there's Roman. Complete an online visit today to connect with a doctor and take care of it. We this go. week's unhelpful advice, even though we didn't do one, <laughs> comes from the big papayas over at Patreon. And I want to do this at, like the Adams Family theme song, okay? okay. So I'm going to go da 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 da, right? Yeah. So Kyle Snuffer, ta ta, Bon Johnson, ta ta, Melvin Flores, Rachel Wilkins, Rebecca Torres, ta ta, Parvez Frasier, ta ta, Jamie Che Cortez, ta ta, Javis Ismail, Aaron Wasterstrom, cluck cluck. Niall Reed. His name is Niall Reed. Red. 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 His name is Niall Red. His name is Niall Red. So thank you, Kyle Snuffer, Bon Johnson, Melvin Flores, Rachel Wilkins, Rebecca Torres, Parvez Bashir, Jamie Che Cortez. Jaime. 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 Jamie Che Cortez. Jaime. Chavez Ismail. Aaron. Wasserstrom. Wasserstrom. Are they two people? There's one person. There's one person. Aaron Wasserstrom, Niall Red. Bye. Love you. Love you. Enjoy the rest of the show. Andrew Dice Clay's children are the most talented kids I've ever seen. They're, they're, they're like virtuoso musicians. Thank you. Y you know this. Well, I, I, you see, this is, this is the bad part of having, you know, uh, kids that are, that are talented. Yeah. If you're any kind of celebrity. It's harder for those kids to get places because people go, oh, just because the father's so-and-so? Mm -hmm. No, that's what goes on. I know, but, it, but I'm telling you right now, though, I've seen it firsthand. I've heard it firsthand. Yeah, they're pretty and great. And I know these they children. Do. They really are super talented kids, man. Well, people and like, that kid, Dylan, like I love Max. Your son, younger son, Dylan, is a sweetheart. Thank you. Thank right? You. We have to do this thing called unhelpful advice. This is how we close out the show. Somebody emails me, us a problem. You could either help or not help, right? But can you listen to the email? What about one leg up? No, we yeah, have. We... Yes, one leg up. I, I, I need to do a question. What happens if you don't answer? We don't have to do a question. It's fine. Yeah. You we, want we, me? We, we could cut that out. <laughs> I'll cut that portion out. <laughs> let Moish. Fuck that. Yeah. One leg up. How many up. questions do you normally one. get? One. All right. So let it Moish answer two. All right. Well, <laughs> Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Moshe will answer what too. What I'm saying is, after missionary, now you start <laughs> throwing the chick out. Yeah, yeah. They're all built out differently. They're all shaped differently. Right. So you gotta find what makes them tick, right? Right. So you go missionary. You dog them out a minute or two. <laughs> There's no dogging. It's prison style with us because we have a height discrepancy. <laughs> What? I'm so short that I, if I you do dog, I can't do you it. You can't. You can't. So she has to lay on her stomach. It's and I have to lay on top of her like some sort of koala flat. bear it's on like a prison tree. prison style. Yeah, prison style. Prison style. Yeah. Laying yeah. on top like. She's on her stomach. We're doing doggy flat. style, but she's not on her fours. She's like a dead dog. Oh, they, uh, this is you really that <laughs> basic. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have the height because she's tall. So I, I then I would have to get. Stand up. up. All right, you're taller than this, right? Yeah, I'm not a so, dwarf. Is, no, well, I know that. So how how high is the bed? <laughs> let's say the bed is this high. It's a low bed. It's a low bed. All right. But like, all right. So I'm, let, okay. I'm not looking to be well, this. Oh, I, 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 no, just listen. This is me doing doggy style, but her ass is here. <laughs> all right. So then what I have to do is I have to stand and do something. How tall are you? I'm five. Wait, eight. stand up. Let me just say you're next to each other. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing like a tall chick. I know, but she has to get on her I'm stomach and I have to do it that way. <laughs> no, but what if she was bent over on the bed, still like standing there? You can't do that? What do you call that? I just that? don't have the balance for it. I'm sorry. I don't have. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so now you're talent. on the bed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's say her back is to you. Right. What makes this position exciting is that it's one of the most. All right, she's supposedly a nice girl. That's why you go with her. Yes. Mm. Okay. Allegedly. <laughs> you know. Allegedly. No. I, you know, I didn't see her in the comedy scene, you know. She's so, not a comic. So no. she's not a runaround, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So you give a direct order. 
her back is to you, you're messing around, you're rubbing up again, whatever, you're waking her up. One leg up. What is and that? She'll be like, what? Yeah. One leg up. <laughs> <laughs> so they pick the leg up. So you come in from that angle, which is a very lewd angle if you're getting, take some selfies of it. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll want to see that. Yeah. Because the nicer the girl, the more exciting one leg up is. Uh, but she's facing away from you. What girl does that? Yeah. You know, just no good in her heart. So I'm going to say, <laughs> you're right. So I say, one, uh, did, let me just rehearse it real quick. Okay. One leg up. All right. Now uh, she, she'll be like, what? Because she's getting woken up. So you got to get it more <laughs> like, like, like a drill sergeant. Oh. So you do it. All right. So, so I'll be like. <laughs> so I wake up. I, so I'll sneak in bed, right? Yeah, yeah. Can I be the girl here? All right. Yeah. Well, she doesn't. Oh, you just say. I like, just, what? I just, yeah. I just all woke all right, up. All right. Mm. Wait a minute. All right. So I'm Good in morning. the bed and. Uh, Good morning. Yeah. You know, so you start like uh, like banging against her. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. to get a bone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like in the bone zone. Yeah, bone, bone, bone zone. Bone zone. Bone zone. Yeah. yeah. You want to get in the bone zone. Yeah, yeah. It's very yeah. important. <laughs> it's very important. You know? Yeah. That's half the battle. That's half the battle because you're going after the. Uh, the purple bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to use dirty words. Yeah, I get it. I get it. There's I get a girl it. Yeah. on the show. Yeah, yeah. So you want the purple bacon, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you get in the bone zone, all right? Yeah, yeah. In the bone zone. Yeah. Yeah. One leg up. Yeah. What? One leg up. Okay, okay. There you go. There we go. Uh, now, this is the key. Yeah. This is the key. Yeah. yeah. They'll always go with the one leg up. <laughs> because they can't believe they're doing it themselves. Right. Okay? Mm. So you got to be ready to invade. By the time that leg is up, you get in there. Yeah. Okay. She might start to lower the leg a little. <laughs> because it burns. You know, too bad. What if right. she goes, I'm sorry, it no. burns. You know what a chokehold is, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Not around her neck. Yeah. Yeah, help her out, because she's a good sport. Yeah, she's yeah. got the leg. <laughs> yeah. So you wrap your arm around the thigh mm. with the one leg up. Ah. You know? Mm. And you attack... You act as if you know how horses sometimes no way those stirrups. So <laughs> no, yeah, you act now. Like now you got the one leg up. Yeah, yeah. You got the bone in bone zone. Up. Bone yeah, zone. bone yeah. zone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're in the bone zone, but now you got the bone in bone oh, in. You know how like when you go to a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We yeah. got the ribeye with the bone in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Always better. You'll wind up looking at her going. Bone in. Bone in. <laughs> yeah. You know? Right. I get it. Yeah. But now you got your hand free. Wait, wait. Let me just let me go through this. I have both arms on her leg. To no, help. no. One arm. Once you once you put the chokehold on the thigh. Yeah, yeah. On the chubby little thigh. Yeah, yeah. Not that, I'm I'm just adding flavor. I know you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> no, because you're thin. You're you yeah, yeah, thin, thin girl. girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, so get, she should actually gain a little. <laughs> You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but know what I mean? Not, write that down. Gain a little, Gain babe. A little. Gain a little yeah. more beef, more yeah, beef. More beef. Or I can't do the fucking leg thing. Okay. No, you can do the leg thing. You get more of a bounce if they. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. But now you got your fingers free to work <laughs> the other part of whatever's there. Ah. Uh, I don't want to talk dirty words. Right. You know the uh, the the, the, uh, the brown the brown star. Hmm? The brown star. The asshole? That's the not asshole. No. No, no, no. No, no brown no, star. No I don't brown. like that. Yeah. No brown star. Well, what's star. down there? The taint, the brown star, and the purple bacon? My back is to you, right? Right. Forget the brown star. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, no. The moose lips should be enough. <laughs> You got the moose lips wrapped around the bone. I know, but the thing is, is that it's you wet in there. You made it so vague, like all the stuff down there. No, because there. the the butt is against you, right? For the most part, she needs to be able to slap her ass 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now I know. I'm a, I'm a scholar. Right? I don't know. I'm learning. Yeah. You're already in the yoke. Y- right. You know what I mean? Right. You're already in there. <laughs> yeah. Leave yeah. the brown star alone. The brown star's got enough work to do. <laughs> You're right, later. Okay. The front of her. Oh, right, the front of her. Yeah, okay, the, yeah. the button, whatever you want to call oh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You work down over. Ah, uh, with your, fi- you, uh, the, you, your you, fi- the hand that's free. Yeah. Right. Because you got the arm around. Right. So you're doing a whole you thing. You got five fucking fingers to work with here. Right. Now, if you can't make her blow, <laughs> you know, like heavy yeah. at that point, yeah. I don't want to say anything, but she should leave you. <laughs> She just fucking leave. Yeah. Have you ever had a girl? Let me ask you this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you ever had a girl that came to you with a problem? Yeah. That said, uh, in her life, she's never been able to, uh, you know, come get. I don't like using that kind of. See, I is never that what said you it. fucking mean though? Come. Yeah, I guess. What did, 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 what just, I just said it. This is a podcast. Yeah, what I can say whatever I want. It's right. my house. Don't tell people that. They already... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I'm saying, <laughs> have you ever had a girl come to you and say, you know, in my life... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, it's all electronics to them? Yeah. No good. No good. Mm-hmm. Episode 255. Congratulations, George. And I appreciate it. Thank you so much for listening. Good night. Peace. And thank you guys, everybody okay, who good night. has said, like, you know, I can't wait. I, well, they should interview George. He should be in the seat. I'm sorry I disappointed you, but to everybody who I, like, said, no, that's a bad idea, too. <laughs> um, I was right. So, uh, shoot, man. I, <laughs> Why did you I'm, do that? The, I'm going to come I, back in here and record one all by myself just to, for redemption. What did you want to say? I wanted to be more interesting. What, what, I hear sit here want, what and you, you just you imagine. You didn't do it. You imagine yourself. If you're on the side, you, you have to. You have to. Listen. In this hot seat, and you always imagine yourself doing a lot you, better. Yeah, than You don't just, think that I've oh, ever? Oh, I fought over Toy Story. You don't. That's think that, not like the story. I know, but you like, don't think that I'm going to go down as my history. We're gonna clip. Oh, it. the Toy Story you one. Hey, fuck, I, fuck. I fucking crushed it. I still <laughs> remember. I crushed you guys, it. I crushed it. You guys it. arguing over IKEA dishes and dogs, and like, and like an argument like outside of like Parps Barbecue or something from before, like just the audio only ones where you were yelling at each other across the street. I was like, I gotta, I can find something in here in my 40 years of history that's as good as that. It's okay, man. You're, no, you're nothing. Right your, your voice is cracking. But thank you for being here. Um, my assessment of your performance today on the podcast is a um, a seven. Out wow. Of, out of? A hundred. Yep. <laughs> I always get caught with that one. I always get with that one. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hate that joke so much. Episode 238, Sasha Gray and the king size heads. Well, let me say something. Um, I, I have a clear um, idea of who you are as a person, and I have to I, right, <laughs> over I, an hour. Am I? You? Yeah, yeah, I do. Can I, you I'm, give me the stamp? And am I approved? Am I not approved? I'm gonna give everyone <laughs> their ranking as a person. <laughs> Wait, what? what? In the room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, Banned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no ranking systems. Yeah. As a human being, <laughs> and I'm talking about <laughs> morality, ethics, what you look like, how you dress. <laughs> And everything, everything's gonna like count, right? So sure. here we go. And we're gonna, I'm gonna end like this, okay? Okay. And this is truly, and I, I, I'm saying this based on if, um, you know, there was a zombie apocalypse, and I and I, I had to live with a survive with a group of people that I could trust and that could do the job, right? Build the fence, also not steal things and be honorable, but also in a zombie apocalypse, I want you to look good as well. You know what I mean? I know there's things that are like, you know, more important, I guess, like nutrition and <laughs> and sleep and your safety. But I want you to look good as well. So um, I'm going to have to rank everyone from one through ten in terms of the, those things that I just said, okay? Mm-hmm. So um, with George, I would have to give you a... Um, it's waiting for it. A nine. Oh, my God. Out of ten. I'll tell you why, because your fashion would be t- terrible, and I wouldn't have to look at you, but I, I would be like... I don't want to look at that, that guy, but um, but what I want to say in terms of like you would get shit done, and like what I, I would done? tell you to do things and you would do it. Oh, okay. You know what I mean you would do it. You know, right? You, right? I'll give you a seven, okay? Because I think that you wander lust a little bit. <laughs> I do. I think that you daydream. I think that you're confused. 
right? I think that I I think I would I think you would steal some rations, and if I confronted you, you'd be like, "Yeah, I did it." Why? Because I have two kids, and I did it. You would admit, right? But and I think that you would try to smoke things that you shouldn't smoke. I'm like, that's not weed, that's, dude. That's, that's fucking. That's shit. shit. That's, <laughs> that's shit. shit. You know what I mean? From the room He's like, I know, floor. but I miss the days where I used to smoke weed all the time. Right? So I'll give you a seven. Sweetie, I'd give you a nine as well. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, because I think that you would. Um, Fish? Be not only that, but you would be very difficult for me. <laughs> so you'd complain a lot and you'd be analytical <laughs> about things. And you'd, I'm the yeah, complainer in this Yeah, I'd be like, you would, you, would, you would say <laughs> things. I would have to say in that environment, I'll write myself. I would say I was a four. <laughs> no, you have rhino hide for skin. You're very hard to penetrate with an axe. Whoa. Mm-hmm. So he he has very thick, like you know how um, seal have this extra layer of blubber. Mm-hmm. How do you know he's a, he's a good singer? <laughs> he really is that that's the face thing that he has. <laughs> There, thank you, Gabby. Da, 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 thank, da, 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 Gabby, I'm gonna give you. Da, da. Gabby, I'm gonna. Keep in give mind, you. this is my desktop for the past year. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep that in mind. Right. That's been my desktop. I'm gonna have to give you, uh, Gilbert, um, your ego. Yeah. <laughs> what about? There, there, I think there's a competitiveness with you, and there's an ego. That iron you sharpens have, iron, absolutely. Right. That there's an ego. Did you say iron sharpens iron. Yeah, because I've yeah, iron ego. sharpens my, iron. My ego makes right. his ego better. <laughs> I would have to give you um, a seven. Your ego. Your what, ego would get in the way. Take away the ego. You have to take away the ego in a zombie apocalypse. And what would it be? It's stuff like, I, I can already tell, it's like, dude, what the fuck? The fe- the, you, 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 can't, you have to face the fence. And, yeah. And, and like, yeah, Bobby, the fence is open. There's zombies coming in. And then you, No, you would be like, dude, I, you, know, you have hands too. <laughs> you would say that to me. I know that. You think I would oh say that? God. Yeah, yeah. And you're, you'd probably, it's six months in, it's like, dude, why are you the leader? <laughs> you're the worst. So you would stage a coup? He would stage yeah. a coup. I would only stage a coup for yeah, yeah, yeah. my queen. Who's your queen? <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <gasps> uh, oh, you're a four because now. Because you know what? <laughs> you're a four now. I'll give you a 10. Yeah. Thank you. I'd stage a coup for you. Sasha, yeah. I would have to, based on my knowledge of you and all the things, I would have to give you a nine as well. Mm. You're too kind. Me, right? Because you seem like you would have his energy, <laughs> right? But your energy, the way you your talk and your chillness, right, is a calmness. His is just a stupidity <laughs> and a dumbness oh my and God. a confused. He's just confused. confused. Yours is more analytical, right, and, and thinking things through and being like, I honestly think in, in like if John was like being gnarled, Right, and you, you know, the fence that he didn't build, he, he, he John gets pulled out of there, right, and I'm like knocking, you know, trying to get in it, and that you would be, and it would be lost, John, and, and <laughs> you'd be, and, yeah, and, and you would be like more like it's okay, you just got to figure it out. We, I have all the toilet paper. Here's he, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to the store yeah. already. I'm a, a week yep. ago. Yeah, ran got yep. all the toilet paper. That's true. And I think that you would be um, <laughs> very analytical. I think you two would be good together. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. Um. I think I would have to give you eventually the mantle. I would uh, probably one day, six months in, I'd probably be like. And I'm the one bringing in the meat. It doesn't matter, you're a woman. I'm the hunter. Oh. Uh, I'm That's kidding, a Tiger Belly podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, I mean, either one. I would go, you know, you're, you guys are both running it. Mm. He will never have it. I, I don't need it. Yeah. You won't get it. It's okay, Cloud. Well, I have my own village. Yeah, for you. he's. You're you're a he fucking betrayer. Did you give me the same one as the dumb guy? <laughs> <laughs> That's an insult. <laughs> I know, but the retard can't be like. You could have said seven point five, eight. I know, I know. Seven point five. You're, John, are you offended? No, no, no. See, that's why. That's why I can say whatever to this guy. He'll just he giggle it up. It. Yeah. Episode two fifty one. Papa's pet roach. But we, so either way, I, I got guys that I'm going to set her up with. But, but um, I, let me go back to the fucking thing, though. The panberry pie and all that stuff. I'd like okay. to also just say one more thing before we move forward. Yeah. So you guys, none of you guys think it's weird when parents set their kids up with other people? Or is it just a parent thing? It, it seems normal. At least in my, culturally, in my experience. That I know, seems Filipinos like do it a lot. A but I was but. dating Cindy and my grandpa is still trying to set me up with women in the Philippines. <laughs> like I'm like you yes. know I've been with Cindy forever he's like I know but just in case like in case what 
I'm literally so telling good. you that I want to propose to her. You're offering Filipino <laughs> women to me. Uh, you know what? I have. Can we go back to the panberry? Oh yeah, it's the panberry. Fine, the, the panberry. Jules. What's panberry? That's the name of the company. I order panberry pies from an app called Gold Belly. They're not mm-hmm. sponsoring us, but it's a very good app, and you can get food from anyway. Um, and so, uh, you know, we can't, I can't, um, disinfect the food that comes here. That's Juliana's job. Mm-hmm. And I've said this, I said this before, but I'm going to say it again. So that it never happens again. Um, and she's in complete denial about it. And she's like, it's fine. And all that shit. So I tell her the pies are here <laughs> and she goes, okay, uncle Tito or whatever it might be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uncle Tito. There it is. Pan berries. Mm-hmm. Oh, those are delicious. Okay, Uncle Ooh. Tito, right? Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I don't know how food works in the Philippines, but um, when you leave it out in the sun here in America, you know, it if something's frozen because of just um, the sun, it melts. And when you leave it out there for two days, the shit's going to melt. Oh, two days. So, But she doesn't tell me, right? Because I let it go because I think that she was responsible. She's a responsible... She's a responsible girl. Um, for two days, she leaves it out there. And then so she doesn't tell me. She puts them in the freezer as if I'm not going to notice. Oh, you right? already knew, though. Okay. No, I didn't know. I didn't oh. know until I go. I say, you know, sometimes Papa wakes up and goes, I think today's pie day. Panberry pie day. Yeah. I want a little pie. Right. I go in to the freezer and I pick up a pie. Now, the pies are about this big and they're in a plastic wrapper. And it tells you on the wrapper, you know, mushroom and chicken or whatever mm-hmm. it might be, right? But these, this batch <laughs> is, you see the pie, but outside of the pie, you see brown gravy. It's frozen <laughs> now. It's no longer in the pie. <laughs> All right? The shit is outside of the pie. And there's no way to put frozen oh, yeah. brown gravy back inside the fucking pot. It's like a prolapse an- anus, yeah. You can still put those back. I had three of them. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you, you need tweezers, some pliers, sure, right? okay. and some fucking It would be. And some fucking I think Vaseline. what you're trying to say, Guild, is you can't put shit back into the butt. Exactly. That's better. Yeah, yeah. prolapse yeah. butt, apparently. though. I have. Yeah. I've, I've done it. Yeah, you could just push yeah. that back in. But I leave easy. it out for a couple of days, especially during Halloween, so I can play like, you know what I mean, an animal. <laughs> Jesus. When I have a prolapse butt, I always like keep it out for a couple of yeah, days. It's your rattler. Yeah, yeah and I, it's your rat and tail. I, yeah. And I, yeah, it's a rattler. So, um, so now when you eat a pie, and I, I just had one before this podcast, you know, I baked it. Basically, what you have in it is the pie, <laughs> right, and the meat because the meat didn't seep through. Yeah. So it's just no juices. No juice. Oh. No. Yeah, and you know what a pie is? Let's be honest. Let's be real for once on this fucking podcast. Sure. Mm-hmm. What's inside a fucking pie is a stew. Is supposed to be a stew. Yeah. yeah. It's a thick gravy like stew. So then I, I and I gently pointed out. I go, ah. I go, ah, Jules. <laughs> no offense, but ah, you know these pies. You know, you know the the fucking gravy is. And she goes, it's not gravy. It's oil. <laughs> that was pretty good improv to just think of something. Do I I say to her Oh do I Did I order Oil pies Pie <laughs> on, on the packaging Does it say mm. Chicken with oil mm. Chicken and canola No good. Do the reason why It doesn't fucking say that Is because There's no fucking oil in it Alright So I love you You're doing a great job In the hospital And everyone's saying online To be nicer to Rudy I'm getting direct messages <laughs> You got to be nice or I'm done with you. I'm done with bad friends. I'm done with Tiger Belly. If you're not nicer to Rudy, and this is me being nice, that's why I didn't fucking do anything. You know, I'm eating the f- pies. And I'm, I'm going to tell you this right now. I, I, as we speak, I've ordered another batch. Mm. Okay? Are you mad? No. Oh. Mm. But she's doing a great job. I honestly, no, let's say it's positive things. Yeah. She's loving with this guy. I let shut the fuck up. Uh, shut up. But a lot of guys have crushes on her on the internet. You know, oh, they do. That. I know. She has to say, I get but it. that's not real life, is it? That's not real life. I mean, if Wait. she wants to make it real life. Mm, no. uh, that'd be kind of She's weird. She's too young. Though. She's too yeah. young. She's too young. You know. Wait. 
Wait, t- she's too young to date in general? I I I I don't want it. <laughs> There's the dad vibes kicking in. There's yeah, the I don't want it yet. I think she, wa- she I want her to get through school. I want to graduate from high school. Can you graduate from high school? And then we'll figure out your future. Episode 237, Burke Kreischer, Circle Thinking, and the Lemon Tree. But yeah. what is it? Because you and I, because when you, like, when we, I did your Netflix show, right? Me and you. And you got but, naked. But is, and I just completely took my clothes off and just laid next to you. Yeah. <laughs> what is that about us that we do? Know. What is it? It's so. We a, need help. It's a part of my personality. Me too. It's like, it's like uh, you know what it is? <laughs> me too, me too. Me too. <laughs> You know, it's like Donnell does not like anything oh remotely my homosexual. God. Like he, he was so uncomfortable that whole was, day. And it, uh, that makes it Don't so touch much me. funnier to me. I know. <laughs> I know. When someone is uncomfortable with yeah, it, yeah. it makes it, like when there's a guy who's like, oh, come on, man, don't do that shit. You're like, mm. <laughs> I think I found out what I'll be doing for the yeah. next few days. <laughs> yeah. I don't know yet. Yeah, Donnell was not comfortable he with was it. Not, he, he, was, he had fun time doing it. But there was times, even in privately, he would just go, yo, man, don't touch me. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, why? Because I'm completely naked? <laughs> what can happen? When you were, people don't even know what happened. But it was, I mean, do you, when you were putting that enema up my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, what? All right, so can we talk about it a little bit? Or, yeah, it's, yeah. It's not out yet. Yeah. It's not out yet, right? No, this is, so they this, go, this show, by the way, this show, I, I'm shocked that we didn't get shut down. I, I can't believe I it. I said to one of the girls at one point, one of my camera ops or assistant camera ops is a woman. I'm naked in a bedroom. I'm laying on, the, we were doing shots of me waking up and I was just different shots of me naked laying around the bedroom and I'm just totally naked laying around the bedroom in different positions, ass in the air, you know, uh, kill a glass of wine. And, and I, at one point I said, uh, hey, did they, did they, did you know there would be this much nudity on the show when you signed up? And she goes, <laughs> very serious. She goes, they told me this was comedians in cars getting coffee. <laughs> and I went. So uh, is no. that a no? She goes. I had no plan for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, wow. And she goes. I mean, at one point when it was you and Bobby, I just was like, I, I guess I. She goes. I was trying to keep my eyes away from it. She goes. But when it was, came to you and Bobby, I, I had to look. I, there was. Yeah. I couldn't look. It was everywhere. I mean, imagine me naked, Bert naked, outside. 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 He n- Bert is on his. On his, um, like a doggy, right? All on his fours. All fours, all fours all right? Fours. Cool. Bent over, I'm completely safe. naked. I have an enema tube <laughs> filled with coffee, <laughs> and I have to stick it in Bert's asshole, yeah. right? Yeah. I stick it in his asshole, <sighs> and he shits it back out in my face. A coffee enema? Yeah, the coffee enema. No, 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 the coffee enema. No, the coffee enema. Uh, Deflects off no, the butt. No, you pour, D- Donnell poured it in. Bobby's getting ready to stick it in my ass. But he's talking to Donnell, and he doesn't know that the valve is open. <laughs> and as he's talking to Donnell, Donnell, the coffee starts squirting out of his hand. Bobby sees it on his hand and thinks I'm shitting on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I yeah, yeah. loses his mind. Loses, like, ow! And then gets it on me. I'm on all fours. Yeah, I yeah, see shit happened. everywhere. It looks like shit. I'm like, who's shitting? <laughs> then then, then we had a regular enema. Yeah. It was so weird. I've never had a man put anything in my asshole before. <laughs> but Bobby put it in nice. my asshole. First time. Yeah. And then left it there. It, it was standing there by yeah. itself. Yeah. And then and then, I, I filled it up, and then I, I, it all of a sudden shot out, and I shot all over Bobby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. a fun time. That was like yeah. a fun day it in was, the mountains. Yeah, yeah. That was nothing compared to how this episode ends. The episode ends with the fu- the f- hardest I've ever laughed watching <laughs> any video ever in my entire Oh, you saw part. it. Oh, I've seen it. It looks it good? Is, dude, it is so fucking funny. It is. <laughs> I saw the dailies. Yeah. It is so fucking funny. Because Donnell was like, kind of like, nah, bro. Nah, 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 kid. Nah, son. No, son. I don't do that gay shit, son. We broke so many. That's the episode where I said to Netflix, that I said, hey, just, are you going to air all this? And they were, like, they were like, yeah. And I said, are you ready for the backlash? Because like. There's a point where we're doing scream therapy and Bobby, me and Donnell are on our backs and Bobby and Donnell just lost their dads and they're talking about the frustrations of having their dads trying and that's how it's like a, it's a, it's a real therapy where you scream and you get your frustrations of your childhood out and they're having a hard time connecting with the scream therapy for their fathers and Donnell says, why don't I just play your dad, Bobby? I'll talk to you. Oh, and so he starts, going, he starts going, oh, Bobby's son. And I go, hey, Donnell, I think that's racist. And Bobby goes, I'll do your dad, Donnell. Oh, oh 
hey, Donnell. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I just got out of jail. Where you been, son? Oh, it was, my God. It is so <laughs> fucking funny. I am crying laughing. Oh, we had a great time. It was it was the great. The episode starts with uh, I was getting a painting, uh, oh. a painting um, commissioned of yeah. me. My wife has always wanted a picture of me on a bare skin rug, mm. like brute, like uh, like Burt Reynolds. Yeah. Mm. And so I got a. Com- I was getting a painting commissioned. And so the guy, so I was, Donnell walks in and I'm naked, holding my junk on a bearskin rug. And then Bobby walks in and just takes off all his clothes and gets in. And we post a picture. Bobby posted yeah. it to his Instagram. Uh-huh. I posted it. I got yeah. taken down off of Instagram. You know, the, it, I got blocked. I, I, I had to say taken something. Down? It did. No, mine did. didn't. Yours didn't. Do you, I, I honestly think that there is some sort of like persecution thing going on with white dudes. Wait, I thought it was the opposite. No, no, no. Because well, him and I posted our no, I po- I posted uh, no, me kissing Andrew Santino's dick got yanked. Do you think it's because of Santino, not you? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Really? Yeah. Well, By I, the way, Santino has a hog. Does he? Oh, I've never seen it. Beautiful. Oh my god. The beautiful. I was thing. wondering where his, all his confidence comes from. Because mm. he's from like that dick. Because he's, he's oh. super red. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like ugly as fuck. Mm-hmm. I mean, like where do the? I, I mean, it's like I, he walks with such a swagger, and I was like, usually redheads are come in hot and angry, and like Bill Burr, but Santino's got this swag on him. Yeah. And then I saw his dick, and I went, oh, that's what it is. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. big dick. That was energy. one sack too, by the way. What you saw. On god. Me. So when I posted that photo with you and I naked on that bear thing. We posted it together. Yours got yanked immediately. immediately and, and then I got shadow banned. Th- mine's still on there. So I, I'm wondering, what is, is what is going on here? Episode 252. Theo Vaughn is good and plenty. So your item is one, is a dry suit. A dry suit and a spear gun. A spear gun is number two. And yeah. then a fire starter. A semen I cannot, I'm very, very sensitive to the cold. Mm-hmm. Okay. And fire I don't, don't do well with cold, so I have to have a fire starter. A reliable one. Yeah. I would do sleeping bag. I would probably do one of those lanterns. Uh, and I would do a, um, decent axe, probably adult axe. Mm. Adult, like adult. A, an, an axe is definitely Non-child necessary. axe. Mm. So that's like. If somebody doesn't get a kettle, if you don't get a kettle, I'll be really disappointed. Or a kettle, number one, then. Okay, yeah. okay we got to boil some I had no water. option. Kettle, no. number one. Hey, mm-hmm. that's your job. Number two. Um, Go get can you, you bring a condo? Huh? A what? A condo? A condo. A condo? A condo. A condo. Like a condominium. Like a downtown LA arch. Like no. you know how they have those portable houses? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, like a double house. It's not a house, dude. Yeah. That's for storage. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, uh, or a shed. A, a shed. Those home no, no, like, sheds. Can you, can you, yeah, like, yeah. if I get an item, I can bring a, a fucking double wide trailer. Yeah. Like Will Smith has on a set. Yeah. Mm. A Star, right. a Star no. Wagon. I want Will Smith trailer. You can't bring that. I'll, I'll call him. Yo, dude, I'm about to do a loan. Can I He's not going to answer, dude, and you can't bring that. <laughs> Why? It's an item. <laughs> huh? It's a full... No, it's a bunch of items put together. You have to get I see. one item. All right, fine. Yeah. My bad, dude. All right. So um, I'll bring the bed from the trailer. So a mattress. A mattress. Okay. Well, he already... This is a team effort, right? He already has a sleeping, sleeping bag. bag. I can't... I, yeah. He won. And I'll also hold my breath while y'all sleep on my back. <laughs> or I'll bring a tent. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'm good with that. <laughs> ten is good. A ten is good. Ten, ten is good. Mm-hmm. I'll bring ten. So I have the, the well, no, just let me finish. I'm not done. Kettle. Okay. Ten. I had a kettle. Mm-hmm. What's a kettle? For water holding For water. stuff. Make how about a, a soup? How about a, not a kettle, but how about a, like a pot? A Something that pot. we can use to boil water. I don't want a kettle. I want a pot. Mm. pot oh yeah, my god. Are they the same thing? Yes. Okay, but I want to call it a pot. Pot, a tent. <laughs> and the third thing is um This is a pole pot calling the kettle right here. <laughs> Can I bring, um, because we have to, like, GPS, can I bring my iPad? No. No. No, because you have to drive. You're going to hit Sam Tripoli's tent. (laughs) (laughs) You can't do that, dude. All right. That's not fair. It's insane. I'll bring a compass. Ooh. Um, I don't find it to be as necessary. Sounded good. Yeah, because you're not really traveling places. You're staying in one spot. Yeah. How how about, um, I bring, how about, you you have a fish net already? No, I had a spear gun and a dry gun. I mean, a gill net. I'll have a fish net. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Because I saw it when the only... You know, and Bobby will be fish net stockings on accident. He'll open up the package. <laughs> Oop. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. Like, wait. He's like, at least yeah. there's two of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, that's it. Uh, we would yeah. die. No, I think <laughs> that well. we would do okay. I think we would make it... What do you guys think? George, how many days would you give us, honestly, out there? 
And the weather at first is like 25 degrees or maybe 40. Right. No snow yet. No snow yet. But then by probably towards, you know, every week I would say it drops 20 degrees or 10 degrees. What's the longest someone's done on the show? Because yeah, we've, we've only done one episode. I don't want to tell them that because I don't okay, want yeah, to yeah. give away how long some of it is. Two and a half days. What? What? That's that's not generous. That's not I can generous last two at days. All. I'll say two and I'll and say uh, I'll say fourteen days. And I'm Thank basically you. Not, I'm basically having naked and afraid ish. Kind wow. Of. Yeah. Because cold is tough. It's not cold like naked tough. and afraid because you have the things you need to survive. Yeah, like but, if you're right. just a little bit. But here's the I don't. Can any of you guys hunt? Let's be fucking honest. I can I can get I fish can in the animals. water. No, you're though. never gonna. No one's gonna kill shit. I'm gonna kill shit. Bro. No, you're not gonna kill nothing. Wait, but I have experience of killing you're stuff. You're supposed to be ocean. uplifting. We've never been over there. Positive affirmation. Know. Oh my you're goodness. We're gonna kill everything. <laughs> you're supposed to be uplifting our group, and you're. I know. <laughs> All right, not even right. out there. <laughs> <laughs> You're freaking killing in a garage. <laughs> I get angry. I get emotional. Episode 258, David Spade and the Rattlesnake. Yeah, I'll tell you two quick things. I was yeah. in this place the other day, and I have my mask on, and I walk up, and he goes, dude, there's a line. I go, <laughs> I, I don't want to be treated like a normal <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like this. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm Batman. He's like, yeah, back there, dude. I'm, Oh, I guess you didn't see Corona. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this is gross. I got so after the wrong Missy, yeah. they send you stuff now. So I get movies to read to see if there's anything funny maybe to do in the future. So there's there was a road trip movie, and I don't know why I got it in my fucking head. So it was like getting married, my wife's you know has never met her dad, or he ran away when they were kids. So I think I'm going to find him. As a present. So I go on a road trip like four days before the wedding. I just disappear. I go, I got to do something. Find the dad. Go get him. I'm like, who would play that? Like Eugene Levy or Harrison Ford or something? <laughs> yeah. I road trip, road trip. Bring him all the way back. The last scene is like gets to the wedding and she's like, I didn't want to see him. And then it all turns out okay. So I was talking to my man. <laughs> I was talking to my manager about it. I go, I don't know. It's, I go, I like the idea and it was kind of funny, but. I don't know. The parts, it has to be funnier. The part's a little flat. The guy's not. And he goes, well, you're like this crazy FBI guy. And I go, oh, wait, I'm the dad guy? <laughs> he goes, what the fuck? You think you're the young groom? I go, I did. Because I've read those all my life where like it's you. And then you go parts where you're like younger. And then you go, oh, now you're got a kid. Oh, now you're married. Oh. And I never done one where I'm like the married guy's dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was so hilariously sickening. I go, I didn't even cross my mind. Wow. And he goes, well, fuck, how old are you? I go, well, how old's a kid? And he goes, like 30? I go, was he? I didn't even think. Wow. I just thought, guys getting married. <laughs> yeah. You're the dad now, Dave. Dad. Yeah. But you have a young energy. I do, right? Don't worry about it. I have young energy now. Help me out of the chair. <laughs> yeah. Episode 259. Rick Glassman and Agents of Chaos. So, maybe you've seen that. Yeah, hello. Cleveland. Okay. May I start this? Yes. Wait, hold on, hold on. That's not our text messages. What is that? Yes, it it starts here. Don't go that far. I want to go far. We'll cut it out if it's too long. Get the date. What's the date on? Well, just go back to the last few months. Okay, this go. No, I don't. I don't want to. Well, where are you going back for? This is my podcast. October what? Twenty sixth. This year? Yeah. Oh, great. Okay. You're not going to skip anything. No, I'm not. I want to read it all the way through. Mm -hmm. Hello, Bobby. Can you help me shine? <laughs> That's. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. Can you help me shine? I love this guy. And I can help you shine. Hmm. Interesting proposal. My response, I swear to God, who? <laughs> 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 right? And now there's a, you know, Please an essay. That. There's an essay. I want to read this. I want to hear this. Me. And you, shining, podcast, come over, have me over, give me advice, let's write a sketch, let's talk about life, meet my new girlfriend, make jokes about your penis, and that get embarrassed because you feel like a hack. <laughs> Did I really write Is it yeah. that real? Did I write that? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Let me oh, buy man. you Mendocino Farms. Just, <laughs> this is why I booked. Because they, give, they give me free food. 
<laughs> no, I don't. And then you go. The last thing you say is, "Talk to you in December." <laughs> right. The next one is like, that was on October twenty sixth. <sighs> this is October twenty eighth. Two days later. Yeah, and then you. This is your dad. You just now. This I not I have not returned any of those. Of by course. the way, right. Your next one is your dad giving you a text, and then you're telling me what your dad said. A screenshot of yeah. that. Yeah. I am watching Bobby Lee to a lead guest role in Magnum P.I. He's good. Yeah, my dad talks to me about, about seeing you on there yeah. a lot. And then Whenever you go, he sees my dad, of mine. no response from me. You're right. Mm-hmm. Here's another one from you. No when? response. November, uh, like, November 5th now. Okay. So we're about, we're about a week and a half uh, out. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to record eight mini holiday episodes to be released one at a time during eight nights of Hanukkah. The eight nights of Taiso. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's where you've seen some of these guests. Fantastic. You can check I'm going to Rick decorate Lashman. my apartment com. full holiday, holiday style. I want them all be previous guests of my podcast. Would you be one of them? Come over for 20 minutes, in and out, thinking I'm going to record them this month so I can edit them over Thanksgiving holiday. And then no response from me. Jeez. <laughs> November 21st. Right? <laughs> what? You exactly. just do a handshake. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 right? Here we go. December 8th. No response from me. Would you mind forwarding me who you get your merchandise from? Not the design, but the manufacturer, printer? Nothing. December 18th. Yeah, I'm feeling really, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, feeling, I'm feeling like, I'm feeling really like, I, I think, I don't know for sure what the feeling is. I think it's in, it's embarrassed. I know. I, that's I fine. Th- We're going to talk about it. I think I feel I, embarrassed. I might, we might cut through all this because it might be dead air, but. No, 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 no. no I just, no, need to re- okay. just want to read through it. I feel like you shouldn't be embarrassed. No, you should em- be embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. You, no, no, no I feel you hanging like I, that. I'm embarrassed that I I consciously made the decision to keep talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But I, just, let me finish them. All right. Now that was now. Well, here we go. December eighteenth. Uh-huh. Hey, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> you also read it like. <laughs> I met like your brother sex. yesterday, and he filled me in on how hard of a time you all been having. Sweet, very sweet. Very nice. I feel Good bad. I've talked with you about pod stuff and didn't pick up on any of the obstacles you were having. Good guy. This is a very good angle. Good guy. Mm-hmm. That's what I liked about it. The shift angle in tone because you're trying different angles. Do you think right? it's being cracked? Congrats on your move to. <laughs> hope you're well. Be- oh, it's so sad. If you're up for getting food sometime, Mendocino Farm. No podcast stuff. I'd love to see you and kick it. Oh, I should have responded to that, but I didn't. <laughs> Uh, January seventh. <laughs> Next year. January seventh. Now, yeah. Okay. That's this. Year. This Let's is twenty twenty now. Yeah, yeah. twenty twenty now. Let's get lunch. You live so close to me, <laughs> right? Nothing. Yeah. January fifteenth. Literally nothing. No response. Oh my yeah. god! It's just. Yeah, it's just all him. Yeah. yeah. That's what I love about him. My girlfriend just texted me that your girlfriend is in her yeah, yoga class right now. Oh, here we go. Should I ask my girlfriend to try and network with your girlfriend in an attempt to get all four of us to go to Mendocino? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sponsored by them? <laughs> what? Nothing. No response. I feel so shitty. Mm. I feel bad. But I'm going to keep reading. Yeah. Uh, January 21st. And then why? Clap. Why? Clap? Not the clap. You know what I mean? Oh, what do you call it? Oh, like emoji. Like people, yeah. Why aren't you? Yeah. Uh, why not write me back? <laughs> so not, he does a clap. He's putting right? his foot down. You're putting your yeah. foot down. There's emotion there now. So okay. now March 7th. Yeah, it which, goes, by the way, uh, people who pick up on, this is a week before Pi Day. Ah. Ah, uh, so January 21st, now March 7th. Bobby, come take your shoes off again next week. Oh, th- I can't read what I just read here. Okay. I can't. I don't know what it is, but I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> is it something embarrassing for me or for you? It's, it's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's embarrassing for you. Uh, what, what, what could it be? I can't do it. I don't want to do it. It's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll tell you later. After the podcast, he I'll tell has you his. He has the same. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a conversation I don't want to have right now. I I respect that. I'm, it's a conversation I, I don't want to have right now. But you know what it is, and I don't, and I want to have that. I, I, you want to cut it out then? Yeah. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll just say it. it now and then just okay, cut it yeah, out. Yeah. Ping this. All right. Yeah. Ping it right here. I said. Um, this is okay. I want to just say how rude I am. Okay. Oh, I know why you're not saying what you're not. Why you're not talking about it? Right, right. Yeah. That that uh. No, I'll just say it. Well, no, I, I, I'll explain why you're not going to say it by just this way. It's something that is uh, not embarrassing for either of us. I mean, no, but, it, I, but I just, it's just it should not. It just shouldn't be talked about. Your God, give me the phone. It's I said. Oh, 
Correct. Correct. Yeah. But if you want to know more, head on over to rickglassman.com <laughs> yeah. for the answer. Let me finish this, okay? So, good um, call, good call, good call. March 8th. Want to get coffee? You live so close, and I have two friends. Thinking about going to the farmer's market. March 8th, you just sent me a photo of Mendocino Farms. <laughs> Hey, Bobby, <laughs> how have you AJK been? What does that mean? What? How have AJK? Translation, Rick? Uh, Asian Jewish kind? You guys isolating? <laughs> it's scary out there. Are you guys still recording? Checking how in have about you two, AJK been? I'm scheduled with Tiger Belly. How have you and K been? How Curious have you about and the K logistic. Been? Uh, it just keeps going and going and going. Hey, listen, Rick. You sent me photos of us. This, you sent photos of us together. Aww. Very sweet. So I, I, feel, I, I want to apologize real quick. Okay, go ahead. So, you know, by reading that, no, honestly, put your phone down. By reading all that, Maybe I be a little less aggressive on your apologies. Go ahead. <laughs> I think that's the reason why I don't respond to you. I see. It's that attitude. Do you understand what I'm saying? What I'm dealing with? You're seeing. Has it always been like this with you two? So, Bobby doesn't respond to people. Is that fair, or is it just fair. me? No, it's. it's I don't take it personally. It's across the board. Yeah, I don't take it. The personally. only person that he responds to is Paul Banks. Shout out to Paul Banks, by the way. We'll put his Instagram handle up here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he so Bobby once told me at the comedy store, I'd like to give Bobby a compliment now. Nobody thinks Bobby's funny. I don't mean you're not interesting. Nobody finds you particularly funny. And uh, you and I had a conversation. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, no, I'm just joking. You're very funny. You're one of the funniest. No, let's be sincere. Yeah, yeah, if, yeah. if we're gonna be, if we're gonna fucking do this. Yeah, you're right. We're gonna you're right. Do this, it's it's hard to navigate. It's hard to navigate. You have to appreciate. It's hard to navigate. Oh, I'm literally looking at you through a glass. I understand that, but <laughs> we're performing while also performing. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. I've known you for over a decade, Bobby. Yeah. I still haven't met you. Wow. Oh. Wow. wow. Now, now, now that we're doesn't mean now that doesn't mean I don't love to play with you. Mm. My language is play. Mm. But a lot of times people don't know when you're joking, when you're serious. To me, it's it's all the same. So you and I sit in that pocket well, but then every now and then when I make a joke that you think it's not good timing, I think, no, you're right, you're right. But also, I don't know. I'm scared, Bobby. I want to <laughs> I want to I want to do well with you, with yeah, you, yeah, with the audience. Yeah. While also connecting, because it's not like we could ever go to fucking lunch, because anytime I ask you, you ignore me. Episode 260, Death by Refrigerator. Like my worries are always like either medical or my, my biggest one is car accident or even though like I'm a swimmer, you always never not think about drowning and stuff, right? What never occurred to me was that I could potentially have a crushing injury or a crushing death by refrigerator. You, no, and, so you don't, you don't know fear? That's, oh, that, that, I didn't she, ever occur to me and it almost happened to me uh, two nights ago. She, bro, I witnessed it. Okay, number one, I realized that I'm a coward, that I don't have really good reflexes, <laughs> right? And that whatever happens to Kalila, if she dies in front of my eyes, reflex based, it, it'll it'll be reflex based, Re reflex based. Death. It'll be it'll be like <laughs> she she died in front of me, and they're like, "Did you stop did, the bullet? I did nothing." Okay, so you so know I'm how? Sitting, yeah, go ahead. Tell. So you know how um Bobby flooded the home, right? I AKA, didn't flood the Bobby, home. Bobby, aka the cat flooded the home, right? And so for the last two weeks, we've had construction <sighs> workers um, basically rip out our yeah. floors and try to dry the floor underneath it. Mm -hmm. um, so they've had to, um, our fridge is normally bolted onto the wall. And so to get to the floor underneath the fridge, they've had to unbolt the fridge and move it to the living space. So there's just a freestanding fridge right in the middle of our living room, right? And um, I... Um, Jules and I um, picked up the groceries and brought it upstairs to put it away in the fridge. And as I was putting stuff away in the fridge, I guess the fridge was on a slight tilt forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the, all the doors <laughs> opened up. Where was Bobby? He was actually sitting in the living room, like sitting... watching this whole thing happen. No, I was no, spectating that's it. Not, no, Tell no. me your version. Okay, first of all, my version is this, okay? I have no idea what the fuck you guys are doing. We're putting groceries away. I understand that, right? But I hear, I hear people lifting things and you know, like yeah. opening packages, whatever, right? Yeah. I my attention is I'm watching Picard, the the CBS show. Yeah, no, the, the I'm, episode, I'm watching. No, I'm watching Star Trek: The Next Generation. Uh, it's the episode where with Picard Nella. falls oh. in love with Nella. Nella. Okay. Yeah. 
And so I love love stories. So you're in it. You're as you know. I love love stories. Yeah. As you know, I love Picard. You hate when Picard falls in love. I don't. I, I turn away from the kissing scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever he tries to kiss her, I just go, "What the fuck!" Right, and I turn away. Why is that? Because he's the captain. And he you don't you don't kiss. When you're the captain, you just everyone deserves love. I know. When you wow. think about it, though, you know because they don't show this in the TV show. But if that was real, yeah, he must masturbate. Oh, for sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but imagine Picard. You know what I mean? Where do you some think Earl Grey tea okay. before bed, and then he plays his little flute, secures his keypad so no one can open the door. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, he, and then he probably pulls his pants down and he goes, engage. And just, <laughs> <laughs> make it so. <laughs> Thrusters. Oh, wow. Right. Where do you think he splooges? Oh, he, shit. Probably right. It probably splooges right onto that little on, symbol thing. On the badge? <laughs> yeah, on the badge. <laughs> right. Or maybe it splooges right, because you know, they have these little um, these little things on their neck that shows them the ranking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so. Do they I was, wear socks on the Enterprise? I don't fucking know. <laughs> You're a super fan. I never do. They wear. I don't know. I don't. Would they need socks? I make assumptions that they make wear socks. I've never looked at like wore shoes or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying so. Picard is not a splooge and socks kind of guy. No, no. There's no way. I think that. um, Who does their laundry? Yes, Bob. Answer all these questions. That's interesting. I've never thought of that. Is it a Korean? There's so many things I've never thought of. I've never thought of if they wear socks. Mm-hmm. True. If they, how do they do their laundry? Yeah, masturbation. Yeah, but um, I'm, I, I assume that those things happen. They must. I've seen them drink and eat food and whatnot. But because anyway, like, okay, sorry. So I'm watching um, Picard <laughs> fall in love on the show. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I hear, e-? and I look to my left, and the fucking refrigerator is landing on Kalila's head. This gigantic metal refrigerator, and she shoulder chucks it. All right? of the food Wait. and the jars, like the glass things, broke on top of my body. At this point, are you Wonder Womaning like shoulder? So what I did, and I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna have to give a shout out. I know people hate group workouts, but I'm gonna give a shout out to Barry's boot camp. Shout out to Barry. <laughs> because ask Bobby, it turns out I have superhuman strength. And I didn't say a word when it was happening. I basically just lifted the fridge. Yeah. And Juliana was frozen, yeah. trying to help me, but she couldn't because of the angle. And this fridge was all halfway, like already. How much was the already at this point? Was it? It was over. Basically, it's all like the this. weight of the fucking refrigerator is on her shoulder. By the it, way, it was like this. Already yeah. that far? Yeah. yeah. The fridge just. Fell like straight over. Right. At me. Imagine all a the, tree falling over. That's yeah. what all the like. glass and everything was yeah. crashing Crash. on my head and everything, and I basically just had to deadlift it and push it back this way. Okay, so that is scary. So, okay, that happens. You're first of all, you're watching a love story, so you're. Thank you. <laughs> I'm on. watching Pop- Papa love his love story. You see that fall on, and I, I I see it fall. I, I go. What do I say? What's the first thing? Yeah. Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> All I hear is because I have I have to basically do a deep squat, right, to pull the fridge off of me. Yeah, yeah. He, all I could hear for 30 seconds was, babe, 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 babe. You're like, I know. Not it's 30 awesome. seconds. Then, I, 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 I'll argue that timeline. And he, I was like, can somebody fucking help me? Not, not 30 seconds. I'll argue that. You know, I got to give it up to Jules, though. She tried so hard she, with nothing. her little legs. She's a twig. <laughs> She's a twig. I think she made it worse. <laughs> she made it fall more. Yeah, yeah. Because she had her little fucking arm on the thing, and she is in complete fucking shock. Oh my god! So I I get up, and I p- start pushing. You know what I mean? The the door handle. Meanwhile, there's kimchi, there's m- mustard, all over the floor. Old salsa, old burrito. I, everything that everything. was in the fr- everything was just scattered all over the thing. The dogs are freaking out. It was a fucking mayhem. It was our own 9-11. <laughs> Your own falling tower? Yeah. It was our own 9-11. And so we finally get it into place. And um, we all had just that moment of like, holy shit, Kalila almost died by refrigerator. By refrigerator. And then and then the cops. Co- the cops? What? No, if they did. It's oh. Like, what happened? Well, the, the fridge fell on her head. <laughs> really? What happened? Sir? But I swear to God. I was watching it. That, you know, you, you like Next Generation. <laughs> I would say that. Like love stories. Do you like, like love, love stories? stories? You like love stories. <laughs> you know what he said afterwards because he didn't want to. But what did the you? Mess? What did you? Say? Were you pissed at this point, or were you kind of just like in disbelief? No. Eventually, after about 
I it felt like 30 seconds. He says 15 seconds. Eventually, he helps me do the final push on the fridge. Mm, thank you. You got there. So like the last five percent of my leg strength, he he helped with. Mm. But he got there. I got I got there. And then, but he didn't want to help clean up the mess. So his thing was, I will not. He told me and Jules, he's like, I'm gonna give you two weeks break. Of no booger attacks. Oh wow! If you clean all of it up, and Jules and I took the deal. Yeah, we, we take the, You gotta take that. We deal. hate when he like puts um his, his you gotta boogers take, on. You us. gotta take that I deal. I thought it was like once in a while. This is no, an no, often you gotta occurrence. take the deal. You gotta wait. The booger attack. Yeah, I was like, hey, once a week, maybe. Can I just? Can I just? Yeah, he he has a whole wall of boogers and he peels. It's not a wall of boogers. It's a napkin full it's of. It's like boogers. you know how people have sticker collections <laughs> in that you. waxy paper. I love anything that sticks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he yeah. has a whole booklet of boogers and like like a sticker collection, and then he just chooses which booger to peel out of that I'm a disgusting child. thing and then he puts it on us so um but uh, can i just defend myself real quick is let's say george george let's say you and i were hiking never will never will happen but let's suppose oh, I'm going on the and out, out of the sky a fucking piano <laughs> is falling <laughs> a full-blown grand piano is falling <laughs> towards your head right my first initial reaction is going to be able to process, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is that a piano? Right? I mean, you because you would you had you would have to check your mind and your eyes to see if they're connected. Yeah, and then you have to fucking. So when the refrigerator is falling on her, that's what I'm going through. Baby, 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 like what the fuck is this going on? I'm processing what's going on because it's never happened before. I didn't think it would it could ever happen. Right. So that's what that 10 seconds is. You know, to, I will I will agree with you in the sense that while it was happening and everything was falling on my body, I thought, is this a refrigerator attacking? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. You I, have to I, go I didn't that make process. sense to me, too. Like my, my instinct was just to push back. Right. Mm. And to lift the, the freezer handle like away. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I you're right. I don't think I maybe would have moved as fast either to help you if thank it happened you, to you thank you thank you so it was it's, it was a bizarre wow yeah incident i'm just um, so you know i have these like um, um flashbacks oh, not, i have this fear that it, what if it was jules and she's like so much smaller than me and she's a strong girl but she is you know what i mean you guys are physically different though she oh, weighs on 90 pounds uh, she would have fucking died she weighs 90 pounds. Like imagine that phone call to the Philippines, like to her mom, like, hey. Yeah, yeah. You know how we have a me- gigantic metal fr- refrigerator? <laughs> She's like, yeah. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Yeah, yeah. Episode 261. Steve-O lasts 431 days. Born was in that, you know, and... um, The banana massage parlor. <laughs> <laughs> What's the banana massage? Is that there? a rub and tug? Yeah, the rub and tug. Yeah, which one's that one? <laughs> Which one's that? <laughs> you want the address or what? <laughs> no. Is there one called the banana massage? <laughs> oh <my God>. no. <laughs> I thought you were promoting one. I'm like, uh, is yeah. that on Fairfax? <laughs> <laughs> No, you know, the, the massage joints. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's funny with the massage joints. Before I met you, my friend <laughs> and I. saying that. Yeah, yes, before, that's my that's friend and I, right? He's like, we should just do it right now. Like, I've never done it before. So we went to a place. And the, a place that he normally goes to, and there was a gate, and I had to do, he had to bring it, you know, you had to ring up, bu- do a buzzer, and then hello, and the woman looked through the window and she goes no, she looked at me <laughs> and she goes no. Then we went to another place, same thing happened, no. But did she say so yes? I, yeah, because he had been <laughs> to both places. So I thought I look like a narc. Do I look like a narc? I wonder because uh, it's, it's such a uh, predominantly Asian thing, like mm. massage parlors. Uh, yeah, if, I don't know if that's. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I don't know. You look like my brother. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, right, maybe, right. Maybe it's the um, the Asian model minority myth. They don't want to see you go down like that. Maybe they're they're okay seeing the white man go down, but not not our brother. <laughs> How horrible! That, that, could, that could be it. Yeah. That could be it. Or maybe maybe they they uh, they don't want to be. They don't want you to see them doing that. Oh. Yeah. Shame, shame, yeah. Shame. How, hor- ho- how horrifying would it be if you see this, right? Someone open up a curtain and you go, Mom? Oh. <laughs> it was your mom. That would be a nightmare. Worst. Right? Because then I would have to get in there and just try to fix it. Mm-hmm. You know I mean? Yeah. You got I my friend. <laughs> <laughs>
mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, congratulations to us, man. Congratulations to us. Isn't it great? Like to not have like, you know, like all of the, the attendant fucking stress of like, and, and, and dude, with, with me, I was just like one of these fucking jerks where, you know, like, like I'm super into the girl and then like I hook up with them and oh, I'm not into them anymore. Yeah. You know, like that whole, it was, it was just like sociopathic, this fucking pattern of like, you know, of pouring on the charm, this like, like, you know, oh, I'm gonna, and, and really feeling like infatuated with, with, with the woman and pouring on the charm, roping her in. It was just like the, you know, the, the equivalent of just being like misleading and exploitative and then neglectful and then abandoning, you know, like. It was just fucked up, man. And, 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 and the shame that I would have, like when, you know, when I went through that cycle, it's like, oh, I, you know, here I burned someone, you know? Like, yeah. mm -hmm. I just burned someone with the ghost routine. Like, I would feel <clears throat> my self esteem was just fucking non existent. Yeah. <clears throat> Episode 268 Annie Letterman steals the punchline. Yes, I want, of course I want to talk Can about Can we talk about that when oh, I was mad what? at you? What? How mad? What oh my level? God, he's I would not, oh, I wanted to end her. <laughs> I wanted to end her I fucking career. Oh wait, that's was that's it so the Chelsea funny. thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, yeah, I know this story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't wait to talk about. Yeah, that. yeah. So I, I want to say this. All right, I, I literally had to think about like, you know, what I mean, think about it before I even brought it up. Yeah. So it's it's so it's been far in the past yeah. that I don't even think about it, yeah. right? And number two, I love you a lot. Yeah, okay? I love you too. I fucking hated you. Then, <laughs> all right, and I wanted you dead. I wanted you dead, and. Uh, so we do the. Ch well, you, I, would, I would like to hear your side of the story. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So I'm oblivious, by the way, of the, him, being, him being mad at me. So we go <laughs> into, I mean, now I know, obviously, because he screamed at me publicly in front of so many people. <laughs> did I, I was really? So did shocked. I really? Yes, in yeah, the yeah. hall of the comedy I was what? so surprised. I did not think you were mad at me. Uh huh. Okay, so doing Chelsea lately was the most stressful fucking bullshit. I mean, I have never been more nervous to do anything in my life because it was. It was just very tense. Like, I get there. I've never met uh, Chelsea before. I think I'd done it like two or three times by the time I did it with you. Yeah. But when I first started, I didn't know Chelsea. I was flying in from New York to do it. They were like, don't look at her. Like, don't look her in the eye, but look near her. And don't like, and they're <laughs> like, make sure you jump in, but don't interrupt Chelsea. And like all these things, like they had all these rules and oh. it was very stressful. And I had not been on TV before. I can, like, I, I wanna, can I interject real quick? Yeah. I want to just add on. Yeah. May I? Yeah, okay. of course. The reason why it's stressful, okay, is, is that you don't, you, you shoot at two o'clock mm -hmm. and you have to go to Universal City, right? Right. And sometimes you'll, at noon, they don't have the topics yet. Oh, it's so stressful. Right. And then all of a sudden you get these topics, right? Five things that have happened, right? And you have to quickly come up with five angles or jokes on each topic. On each topic, I'm, right? Can I get a shout out? Yeah. Because the last two years you did Chelsea, he would not wake up until like 45 minutes before and he would have Nick Youssef and I wake up really early. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just waiting for the fucking topic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we it. could write his jokes for him. Yeah, right. So, all right. Oh my God, the power dynamic. But in, in, uh, <laughs> but in a show like that, right? Like yeah. if you do David Spade's show, for instance, what's it called? Uh, Lights Out. Lights oh, Out, right? Yeah. You can say a joke and then you can turn to whoever and go, can I say that over again? Right. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, yeah, take it as many times as you want. Right. And they can just fill in the laughter. Right. Away, right. But with Chelsea, you know, you have to say it perfectly or she'll rip you apart. And oh. she'll not ask you back. Like she'll be uh, like, or she won't me. ask you back. Or, you know, there's all these other things that are at play. So um, now you're there right in front of a <laughs> gigantic studio audience. It's so a, many people. So many people. It's hundreds of people. And yeah. by the way, I always like a couple of my bank tellers and stuff. I always brought random people. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone yeah, recognized yeah. me from Chelsea, I'm like, do you want to come? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you want a picture? They're like, we're good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so you're there. And then here's another, here's another thing is when you come up with your bits, sometimes this happens, right? You, you get a writer and you have to pitch them the bits. Mm -hmm. and, you, and, and meanwhile, in 10 minutes, you're on air. <laughs> and they're doing your, you're not even a girl. The girl, I'm in full makeup. They're, they're like, close your eyes. I'm like, I can't. They're like putting eyelashes. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, I haven't written <laughs> topics yet. They're like, are you ready? They're like, we're miking you. I'm like, yeah, no, you're yeah, not. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not putting the mic on. Right. So you're about to go out and they, and then somebody will come in the room and go, yeah, um, so-and-so is already doing that joke. But oh. then, they, and then you're, you, uh -huh. and then so you're being pulled onto the set. You go, what do I do then? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck do I? You know, 
And then you're like, I would have it folded up. I would have my notes folded up. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Trying to like memorize. I'm like, yeah. oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And yeah. you can't like, I'm god. looking down. Yeah. Like, don't look down. I'm like, but I have my notes are there. Yeah. In fact, one time, Chelsea wasn't there. Wanda Sykes was there. T.G. Miller, Miller and I are yeah. on the panel, right? And we remember going, like, she's there. They're about to go. And, and me and T.G. know Wanda Sykes. We turn to her and we go, what's up, Wanda? And she goes like this. <laughs> and that gesture fucked me up. <laughs> Wait, why? I go, I don't know what I'm doing Chelsea now. She do that to you. I don't know why. Was she mimicking Chelsea? <laughs> uh, I, I think maybe that's what she thought that the role Dude, was. Chelsea was so would be so different with me every time I did it too. Like yeah. one time she would like like because I didn't know her at all. It was so nice for her to put me on. I cannot believe she put me on the show. Yeah. And so I would like we're walking down this the hallway and she's like, hey girl, and she would like tickle my stomach and be like, Mama, like, oh my God. I can't this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. just little old me. I was like an open mic girl, like, thank you. Yeah. And then and then other times she'd walk down the hallway and she'd be like, I'm like <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Was I invited here? Yeah. I don't know. I, I have to also say though that without it, mm -hmm. in that chunk of my life, right? I wouldn't have had the numbers on the road. It was amazing. It, it, was, amazing. it was amazing. It changed my life. And we're grateful. We're just complaining about the stress. It Honestly, was just yeah. so stressful. The the timing of it. Because Chelsea at that point, I mean, I don't know how early you did it on. She was so kind of over. She didn't want to do more takes, which actually made the show hilarious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because she'd just be fumbling through the thing, like, whatever. Mm -hmm. And they just put the thing up. She called me Amy Lieberman like five times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think she might even call me Amy Schumer. Or, like, or let's cut to now the night, the day we do it. Okay, so there's all this stress. And, mm -hmm. and the... um. Okay, so I don't remember the topics or the jokes or anything, but I remember it wasn't didn't go well. Okay, I remember when we got off. You can because, say that again. <laughs> <laughs> you can say. Well, I figured out what it was when I watched it. I realized what I didn't realize about the way you were delivering the jokes, because I was always waiting for. I was always, you. You have to jump in. If you don't jump in with you, you were famous. Okay, this was like all I had. So it was uh, like. So that's all I had too. No, no, I agree with that. I'm not. I'm okay, not saying, okay. No, no, no. I just, I just am trying to explain. Like, I didn't have any like. I get, it. I get what you're saying. Your perception, on camera I, I, and it's stuff. The perception like, of me, your perception of me, you know, what I mean, is different than the perception I have of myself. Yeah. And maybe you're in your head. You're like, well, this guy was on a show before, right? No, I didn't realize that you were okay. So when you delivered your jokes, you would, you would, do, you would tell the joke, possibly do an act out, and then you would look at the camera and you would hold a look, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and that was like the laughs would like it would kill, right? Uh -huh. I didn't realize the look holding. So what I was doing was I was so obsessed with my own getting the jokes out. I would hear a pause when it was you were like continuing to deliver the joke. And I would think the joke was done. So then I would jump in uh, to get the joke, but I was cutting your joke off. Okay. Can I say this? Yeah. I, okay. That's correct. Yeah. Right. But what I saw and I, was a fucking. No, no, no. What I saw was this. Okay. I would wait because I know that you were jumping the gun. Yeah. So I waited for you to do your joke first. Yeah. Right. You would do your joke first. Right. And in my head, I'm like, OK, I got the two guys out of the way. Right. Right. Now it's my turn to do my joke. Right. They already, you're, you get one shot. Mm -hmm. Right. So halfway the, well, the first time. Right. I did. I wasn't even able to tell my joke because you said joke? you did your joke. I forgot who the other guest was. Yeah, who was and it? then it was my turn to talk. And you did a second joke. You I did. wish I had a joke to interrupt you with. I know, but you had a second but, joke. Yeah. And then <laughs> after your joke, Chelsea goes, okay, now we're going, you know, commercial break. Right? So then now <laughs> I know, now I know we have to go to the next topic. And so in that fucking chunk, nothing. You, I said nothing. <laughs> right? And so I, I, I turned to my... <laughs> I turned to Michael Cox, and and he comes up to me. and goes, I I I know. I saw. Oh. And I go, what the fuck, bro? Oh no. That was my strongest one. That was my strongest one. <laughs> right? And he's like, I know, but you can't. You just deliver. Get get out. Get out oh in the my first. God, Bobby, you know what I mean? So in the much first. Better than I thought. In the second half, just get your first joke out. Right? I know, but the, everyone thinks I'm a fucking retard because I didn't even say anything. Right? So now you have an external locus of control. Now, now we're yeah, back. Now back. Now back to right. I'm sorry. So I go. Okay, this bit is you know I'm gonna pause <laughs> and do the punchline right because the first one is obviously just a setup right. Mm -hmm. So I do the setup right. I do the pause. She goes right in. <laughs> <laughs> she goes right in. And I go what? Right? No laugh. No laugh for me. You, you're <laughs> the punchline right. She goes right in. We're right. Getting then them the, now at least. And then the <laughs> other comic does it right. And then also commercial break. 
<laughs> Michael comes up to me. He, Michael's sweating now, Cox. Because he knows that, like, my eyeball. Why didn't he tell me? What? Because we don't know. Because he, everything's moving so fast. <laughs> right? Everything's yeah. moving so fast, right? And now I'm whispering uh. things like, you know, I'm going to kill her. That's so And I have no clue. I'm she has like, no idea. She I'm has absolutely like, what's the next topic? I'm like, <laughs> I hope I remember my joke. So then the third one, right, was the worst one. And this is not your fault. I mean. All right, the third one's not your fault, right? So mind you, right, I'm on this whole show. <laughs> I haven't said anything funny yet. Just and premises. I've been I've been on camera for about 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> just premise. I'm just yeah. a guy that's just sit, sitting there, right? <laughs> oh my so god, the, the feeling, the sinking feeling when the commercial break comes is really it's like <laughs> unmatched in life. Yeah. Like you don't when you haven't gotten your joke out. Wow. I'm literally also having thoughts like, um, maybe I could just, you know, work at the store. <laughs> oh my god. <yeah. laughs> you know what I mean? Like not just a doorman, but like, you know. Maybe promotions, oh, right? Like I'm thinking your whole like, life is just, my whole life is yeah. flashing before my eyes, right. right? And the third one, I'm a, I'm about to tell a joke, and they do a thing where <laughs> Chelsea just interrupts me and she goes, "Fortune Feimster." She's not even on the panel, <laughs> right? I think Fortune Feimster d- d- comes out in like a lingerie or something and yeah. does a dance. She, <laughs> it was a bit that like no one was told about. So, right? you <laughs> so the whole show. I fucking ate it. And then I remember thinking to myself, I hate that girl, Annie. She's my number one enemy. <laughs> wow. You know, I have a lot of enemies on the wall, right? Yeah. But like, yeah, you know, sure. she's my number one. And then wh- what What did I say to you at the store? Oh, and then like we get like, okay, so we get off stage and like, I know it didn't go great, but I'm like, whatever. You know, I'm just sort of like, I don't like, at this point, I'm not feeling fully responsible. I'm like, we all kind of didn't have a good show. But I also didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And then Cox was like, wow, that was a rough one. I was like, it was like, you know, and then I was like, oh, like the lights got darker. And I was like, oh my God, mm. we bomb. My parents are going to watch. This is terrible. And then, um, so when I see Bobby at the store later at night and I go, oh, that sucks. Like we didn't do good. And he was like, yeah, fuck, I never. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I was just kind of like, I had no clue. Like, I just had no clue. I mean, right, right. I just like am wild. I don't, there's no, because limit. it was pent up. It was like, I, you know, I, I had it just in my chest. Yeah. And everyone was like, I was like, and I was like, Bobby, I'm so sorry. I would never, and you're like, you're supposed to make everyone look good. And I was like, I would never, and you're like, you are trying to make me look bad. And I was like, I would never try to make you look bad. Right. Before. And it was like that kind Whoa. of thing. How long, yeah. How long did it take for now for me to, to get back because I feel like to be friends again yeah I feel like what you did was the right thing you did the same thing Tiffany Haddish did what Tiffany Haddish we've talked about on the show when she was here that she betrayed me right and then there was a relentlessness on Tiffany Haddish's part to get me to like them again do you think I did that I think you did I think there were times right socially right that you I just didn't know you didn't like me ever so I was just treating you regularly (laughs) In my head, I was number one enemy. No, it, no, in my head, I'm like, wow, she's crafty. <laughs> really? She's no, probably, she's crafty probably thinking, it. right? We're all cool now. But in my head, I'm like, wow, she's saying hi to me and flip, flip, flicking my. That's where, <laughs> that's where the self centeredness comes in. That's what I tell you. Like, you always, you have these hang ups about you think people are thinking of you. Right. And they're not. Everyone's just moving about and doing their own shit. Right. Wait, were you mad at me when we did the NBC thing? What NBC thing? Remember when we did Finesse Williams NBC thing? Remember he was doing a, oh my God, this is how much you work, you piece of shit. This is how successful you are. We who's did a finesse, Who's Finesse Magic? Oh, SNL. Up. I love him. <laughs> no, I, I don't remember that, but okay, what was it? Okay, you were freaking it? out. You were like, because you have a thing where you're like, this is my last job. Every time you have a job, <laughs> you were like, I know. you were like, I, I do, I do. Oh, you're like, oh, the execs are here. Am I bombing? It's like, yep. I mean, yeah. the screaming, am I bombing a little bit is bombing? Kind yeah. of. <laughs> but no, yeah. I think you pulled your dick. I think you did get naked again, but it was like, you know, it was, it was like they yeah. showed us a video and we made jokes about right. the animal video or something. Because, but, but I'll tell you why. You mad I'm only like that in, in jobs where it's like, I did, this wasn't a part of my dream. Right, panel shows were not a part of my dream. It's not my skill set. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I've always wanted to like. Act. I like acting, and I like sketches, and I like being big and and controlling things. You know, and also showing my muscle. Right, doing um, panel shows. That's why the David. Is that Spade what you thing- call your dick? What your muscle? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> my yeah, my muscle. Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's a good one. But like, so the finesse thing, I don't remember it, but what happened? You just were like freaking out, running around, clothes were coming off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. having a breakdown. You're like, oh my God, this is a big network. I'm like, probably, I think it's fine. You're probably going to get several more TV shows. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think you're fine. Yeah, but like, yeah. I, when I, did you start liking me again? How recently? I, it took a year. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's that was a long time long. ago. Yeah. Yeah, it took about a year, year and a half. I um, I just remember forgetting. Oh. You know, and and then seeing around. What I also like about you is observing you. I always I like to observe you around other comics to see if other. Uh, this is so gross. I, I, I want to hear it. I'm, I'm going to tell you, okay? But this is a gross part of my personality. Mm. Ew. I know, it's disgusting, right? Mm -hmm. But there's also, I like to see people's trajectory. Mm -hmm. You know? I, I, let, 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 okay, let, let me... I remember let me, no, watching no, no. you say on this podcast before, you were like, you were like, um, I like to know where I am power-wise with people. And I was like, he's never thought I was close to him. <laughs> that's what's so funny yeah, do yeah. you remember when you brought me on stage once and you were like in the OR and you were like wait go back like you started to say my name and so I started to come forward and you're like no 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 go back why are you up here already and I was like oh so I went back and they were like it, you were like why would you listen to me Jesus I was just fucking with you come up and I was like Jesus fucking <laughs> yeah they like, alphaed me so hard in front of everyone I was like that's uh, I'm low audience mm -hmm. I'm no so it was funny I'm I liked it uh, yeah, I'm I think sorry it's for that but um, do you, I've always been like that episode 269 Polly Shore, sauna time. Your energy right now is negative. You don't know why. Well, I uh, we'll get to that now. Okay. But I'm having a bad day as well. Okay. So, you know, let's it start has with nothing to do. My day's been good. I understand. Good. It's just I knew I was coming to see you. Right. And so um I've had a really fucked up day. So I, I wish that your energy and your and your attitude was a little bit more positive. Well, it's, it's like you came it's, in real angry. Yeah, well, it's hard to have a positive energy when you're on the documentary talking about my mom's vagina. Yeah. Mm. Let's just get that out of the way. Wait, I. Yeah, you said something about, like, you used to massage my mom, and then you said something about her vagina. Yeah. I never said anything yeah, about your you mom's did, vagina. Well, you haven't seen the documentary. I've never seen the documentary. Yeah, well, you should watch what you said in it. What? <laughs> It's pretty bad, dude. Okay, what did I say about your mom's vagina? You I love said your mom. Something about she's a great smelling vagina. her vagina in the air at, in the back of the main room. Yeah, but that's that. But no, that, no, no, no. That was pretty fucking gnarly, dude. No one talks about. You know what I mean? Mm -mm, mom Even the African American comedians don't talk about my mom's Whoa. vagina. Mm -mm. You're like talking about my mom, Mitzi Shore, the legend comedian comedy store yeah. and you're like oh everyone had sex with her and her vagina's in the air here at the comedy store and <laughs> used to massage her and have sex with her and stuff. i never said i i never said okay. that yeah i didn't say you had sex uh, yeah 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 you just, just did say that but i uh, for the record for the record dude do you ever been to russia are you poisoning me like russia like that guy he recovered for the record i recovered for the record okay and for, for the, the record, re this isn't a deposition. I, I know, I know, but for the record, I want to in your fucking dumb garage. <laughs> wow. Okay. It does. That's... I didn't know it was a garage. Those people watching. Yeah. It's in a fucking garage. <laughs> <laughs> our, this our... isn't like this yeah, yeah, is ghetto yeah, around it's a here. Yeah, 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 it's a studio. Yeah, it's no, a studio. it's not. It's a fucking garage, dude. There might be a fucking car that comes through the side. Okay. All right. <laughs> right so, there. All, all right. Now, I want to. Uh, I don't remember saying that. It is something that I would say. So let's just get that. That's a factual thing. Number two. Did they error that part? Yeah. You would think that they would cut it out, and I'm going to have a discussion with Mike Binder. Mm. You would think that they would cut it out, and I and and thirdly, you said something about fucking her pussy or something. No, I never said that. <laughs> okay, well, you haven't seen the documentary. Why would I say that I had sex it with was your mom? You it wasn't fucking the other Chinese comedian guy, <laughs> Asian who, comedian, who Peter Chen. Yeah, it wasn't him. Was he in the documentary? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best. Yeah, I know. What the fuck happened to him? I don't know. Oh he had the best. God. He had the, best, the uh, best. You know what his best? You know how uh, <laughs> when somebody would heckle, uh -huh. you have like a re retort, a comic. Yeah. His so retorts never made any did. sense. Where were they? One time when he, he like some guy heckled him, he goes, "You shut up, or I'm going to put you on a rocket ship and fly you oh, to the, the moon." moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, I want to apologize for that, and um, I will watch the documentary. And I feel really bad about it. I can't believe I said something like that about your mom. I love your mom. 
She saved my life. She changed Why my life. Why are you looking in the camera? You have cross sight. Your eyes are crossed. <laughs> I know. So You know what I mean? People don't know where to look. Can I tell you what happened to me today so that maybe you can have, be a little nicer than me? Well, wait, okay, wait, but you apologize with the mom. The mom I did. Thing, the mom thing is like a serial offense because he shot this thing for JFL in, um, in Toronto. Uh -huh. And he did the same thing, but it was about my mom. Wow. And I flipped the yeah, fuck out. Yeah, it's not cool, out. dude. You can't. I mean, talk about girls' vaginas, but not fucking someone's mom's vagina. <laughs> It's like, you know what I mean? You remember And that? then you talked about I do remember. I apologize. I, I, I want to put... Uh, well, we're, we're rolling, right? Yeah. yeah. We're rolling. So <laughs> Mom's I, vaginas I, are off the I, table. Right. I'm going to apologize to anybody out there if I made fun of your mother's vagina. I do it to Santino a lot, too. Right? Yeah, you do. His mom? His mom's vagina, yeah. Wow. But he goes after and, your and mom, she's, too. Yeah, she goes after my mom, too. And it's bullying. It's not a good thing. Yeah. It's... <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. It's terrible. <laughs> It's terrible. I apologize. Where are you going? I'm just taking the Okay, okay. So um, I, apo I sincerely apologize for making fun of your mom's vagina. Yeah, I was I've never seen it. I was it smells a little nice. bit in shock. You were in shock, really? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I, why would Binder keep that in? I said a lot of things. He interviewed me a thousand times, <laughs> and he would keep that in? That's the only thing he kept in. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. Anyway, I apologize. I love you. It's okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Nice good. to talk to you through fucking plexiglass. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you have cancer and you're the other room. <laughs> like up the bubble. Do they play. know that? Does the audience know there's a plexiglass? Yeah, 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 they do. Okay. Episode 271 Whitney Cummings and the non proposal. Quit. Should I leave and get another job in the restaurant industry, which might be shit, uh, might be shit or should I stick with my current job until spring or summer? Thank you guys. Love you. I would stay with the job and then report the the, the racism. If like the owner, anonymously. Yeah, anonymously. Yeah. But he's the I mean, but who do you, yeah who do you report it to? This isn't like, they don't have yeah, HR they don't in have a restaurant. HR. Oh, they don't. Yeah, this mm -hmm. isn't Disney. Well, he, well then okay. Well then I would um, <laughs> report it to I would the police. Go, <laughs> call the police. Or you could you could go to you know what I mean the owners or whoever is saying these words mm -hmm. and go listen you know um, thank you for the job. I love working here. But the N word and all the things that you're saying is so f offensive, right? And can you just cut it out? Say it at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please film this and send it to us <laughs> so I can see how this goes. No, out. no, no. Just this is what. Let me just. Let me just. Because I'm not. I haven't thought it through. Play it out. Sorry, I haven't no. thought it. Let me play it out. No, I second. can tell you haven't thought it through. <laughs> right. Or, 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 you, wait, so you, I would knock on the. Knock, knock, knock. Wait, you be the guy. She's the owner. The racist owner. Okay. Whitney knock, Cummings, knock, the knock. Racist owner. <laughs> uh, hey, Chink. <laughs> Come on, Bobby. Stay in it, Bobby. Up? Stay in it, Bobby. I know. And then I would close the door <laughs> and walk away. <laughs> right. And I'd still be at the fucking business at work. But then, you, then you muster up. Yeah, more in stuff. my head, I'd just be like, oh, this is. She's not going to change. He'd probably say sorry. <laughs> <for you. laughs> she's not going to change. She's not going <laughs> to Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, but I love this job. Yeah, I'll have to absorb it. I'll just absorb it. It'll turn into cancer ten years from now. Um, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. All right. So I would go. Um, I would quit and get a new job. Or try it again one more time. All right. So uh, knock, knock, knock. What's up, Goop? <laughs> Right, power through. Um, uh, so, um, all right. So, um, that's why I came here, actually, um, boss. <laughs> funny you so, say that. Funny you like, say that because. Um, but can you see me? I just. <laughs> power through, Bobby. Power through. Power through. Yeah, because um, you know I know my eyes are um, uh, slantier than most, uh -huh. but I have perfect vision. What's wrong? Do you need me to drive you home? <laughs> Arthur, Bobby, go. You know, that's just a stereotype. Anyway, can you stop <laughs> saying stuff like that? Um, uh, why? What's the problem? Because it hurts my feelings. Oh, yeah, why it, don't you just commit suicide? <laughs> <laughs> like your brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then I would close the door. I would close the okay, door. Yeah. And I would just stay there, I think. Yeah. Very quietly. Yeah, yeah, quietly close just it very stay quietly. There, quietly and stay there. <laughs> Because this is a boss. You would you, bow on your way out. Yeah, yeah, I would bow. I would, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. I would bind my feet and I would I, I walk out like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Episode 249, Crow Update number one. Guess what new pet we have? <laughs> I hope it's not a freaking crow or something. We have a fucking crow living and with us now. That's a crow lady. You're one of those bird ladies. I'm going to defend myself. I'm going to defend myself. A fucking my crow, baby. That's not, lady. I'm going to defend myself. It's 
I have not brought the crow in. I feel like that's mm -hmm. fucked up. You did propose the idea. I didn't propose it. I would never do <laughs> <Okay>. that. <laughs> False accusations. Crows are no, very- she, No, she goes, uh, 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 she was kind of I... in, mulling it over in her head. Like, I wasn't. Yeah, yeah, you were. You were like, I, I can't actually bring it inside. Can I, uh, you know, like no, that no, kind no. of a thing. I wanted to splint its leg. Um, so it has a broken leg. It landed mm -hmm. in our balcony because it's been windy around here. We have a lot of crow families here. And crow families are really, really tight-knit. So if they have an injured family member, you always see them like squawking around, kind of keeping eye on that injured family member. Well, that's what happened yesterday. There was an injured crow, and I thought, okay, well, he's probably just going to shake off the whatever, his leg, and then launch, go back around. Well, the injured crow is still with us. I have um, given what Jules and I have fed um, eggs, um, cat kibble, not, not um, just egg. apple, not just, not bread. Just, not just eggs. We've given him a bird bath. Not just eggs. Or maybe it, it might be a girl. And um, oh. we've, um, you made it a birdhouse, I saw Bobby. a picture of that. I saw a picture. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not opposed to the idea of living with a fucking crow. Your face says otherwise. <laughs> I, know my face, I know my face says otherwise. So we now have a fear that this flightless crow is now just going to live in our balcony and not rejoin the family. So we've been really delicate about it. We called the wildlife rescue out here. Oh, okay. She boiled an egg. She boiled an egg. A, a crow you egg? build a house. Out of fucking cardboard that took three minutes. You boiled eggs. You give her like, you, you not just fruit. Mongo. We have we don't have a lot of fruit. We get fruit shipped here, like not just an a red delicious apple. We get Asian apples, Asian pears. Yeah, you do. Those, I do. Yeah, you do. We no, have. I get a CSA box from the farmers market. Okay, but they're like they're they're <laughs> exotic fruits, and she, she does. Yeah, she does. Yes, she does. Aren't she they, doesn't I, just. I gotta know if these are exotic. She, or she not. doesn't throw <laughs> out a peach. They're out not there. Asian pears. She doesn't throw out a peach. She, okay. Like sashimi slices them perfectly, <laughs> dices right, them up, right? All right, chef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, chef. <laughs> on a plate, right? She'll dice it and make it all have the water, eggs, fruits, See, omak like omakase for a bird. Yeah, yeah, like you know, multi-grain <laughs> breads. I mean, she's she's. It's basically the four seasons for this crow. Like Renee Zeppi, he may yeah. never fucking leave. No, here's <laughs> my, I'm gonna defend myself again and say <laughs> that I am thinking about it from an injury perspective. He's going to need protein to heal no. his mm. broken leg. Pragmatic. And I, I don't overfeed by the way. I have, I feed at a certain time and I hope that it's just enough to last him through that day. Because if you overfeed, then, then he'll never leave. I believe fear if the, right, if the crow felt fear and urgency to get out of there, right, it, she, he'll leave sooner. He's been trying. So if we tapped on, right, if I held the cat, <laughs> tapped on the fucking, no, don't give him food or water, tapped on a thing, and I, I'll go, two days. I looked at, the crow looks at me, I go, you have two days before. The cat. The cat. That the crow would start doing exercises to get his out. shit, working out to get his shit ready to go. F physical therapy, mm -hmm. yeah. But we're not doing that, are we? No, we're like give, I built. I built a bed. I took an old. I took a, a skateboard T-shirt. I built a little bed and made it a little house. And we have all these things. That motherfucker ain't leaving for shit. <laughs> well. Here's the thing I did find out about crows. So I, I spent all day. That's why I had to cancel our meetings yesterday, and we canceled everything yesterday because we were dealing with a crow. It was yeah. it was a day dedicated to to Leonard. We named her or he Who Leonard. Who names the crow? <laughs> it's Leonard. Why Leonard? Leonard you Nimoy? only name something if you're gonna see it again. No, that's not true. Yeah. Look, listen for a second. So. <laughs> I've been reading a lot like, about Bobby. Shut up. <laughs> All right, okay, watch. Listen to this madness. Kalal, you have the floor. <laughs> listen to the madness. Well, I, for starters, I, I I bought books on crows and magpies and the corvid family because now I'm like super intrigued, right? And I found out that they're they're actually considered one of the most intelligent, not birds, but one of the most intelligent animals 
in existence. They they pass the mirror test, so they know who they are. Not wow. a lot. Only dolphins, apes, and a few other animals pass the mirror test. Wow. And their brain to body ratio is similar similar to that of apes and humans. And so they are. They know who we are by now. They know they are very tight knit mm-hmm. family. They're very very bright creatures. So. Uh, I was thinking like, wow, like, isn't it weird how because they're familiar birds, anything that's familiar to us seems ordinary. But Mm -hmm. we've been living amongst geniuses this whole time, just flying around. And so now we have Leonard, our genius friend, and I hope that he doesn't become a flightless pet we have on our balcony. That would be weird. But I do think that we have now built a rapport with Leonard, and I hope that he knows that we're not out to hurt him. She's acting, why like, no. she's acting like it's Matt Damon from Goodwill Hunting out there. <laughs> Maybe they are. The, like, Matt Damon's a the You and, never you know, know. But here's the thing. Here's why I believe what you're saying also because you read 500 books about it is Game of Thrones, when they want to send a letter, they don't send, they send a horse. They send a raven. They don't send a wolf. They send a raven. They send a raven and it's the Corvid family. Yeah, it's a fucking fantasy, you fuckhole. What do you, you mean? Send messages with birds. Yeah, Babe, yeah it's, it's not a, a fantasy. Don't, like, no, don't bring up wait. Game of Thrones. There's also dragons that they fight. Do we do that? <laughs> but do the, bra- <laughs> but do the, but yeah, do the yeah, dragons send messages? No, the Hang raven on. does. White Walker. Oh, we have those. Uh, if we, we have White Walker. If we, we have one on the screen right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say something. Let me finish. Okay. I, I thought you were going to bring up what I said about the squids last night. It was so embarrassing. Can what about the squids? About the mirror testing. You bring it up, Bobby. Oh, you, yeah. If you bring it up, you so, own it. If you bring it up, you own it. You can bring oh, it up. shit. You so yesterday, we were having dinner with Jules, me, him, and I. We were talking about the mirror test and animals that pass the mirror test. And she's saying and, crows And I was like, pass. I think that crows, and I think that octopus are, are very intelligent. They are very self-aware and whatnot. And he was like, he was like, <laughs> he goes, that's crazy. He's like, how do they test that? Does a scientist just dive under the ocean and put a mirror in front of an octopus? Like, sincerely, this is the question he asked. I was like, what do they do? All right, it's time. Grab the mirror. <laughs> and they go all the way to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> right? And they, and, and they just eat, try to find a squid and they do that. But then I thought that was dumb because maybe they just do it at the uh, Sea World. And then me and Jules were like laughing so hard. like, And he could not realize why his question sounded absurd until it finally hit like 10, min- 10 minutes later. He was like, oh yeah, they could just do it in aquariums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I literally thought that they did that. It didn't make any sense to me. And how does like squids even know that that's their, they're looking, how do they find that out? Wait, how do we know I- that they know? How do they know, how do we know that look, they, they look if- in the mirror and go, oh, I look good today. Look. You know what I mean? The, the, My um, eyebrows are beautiful. Episode 263, Kasim G is timeless. Can I just say this before you get into advice? Yep. George is so bad at his job. We, <laughs> we, when we started our podcast, yeah. we um, we had a... It's very... T- you, you guys know it's hard to get a podcast going and yes. like yeah. get some traction. And we just did... We just did our first... Finished our first year... And Congrats. we thank you. And um, Gil's sister produces it. That's great. And Bryce, which you guys know, we love the Bryce. They produce it. They do a killer job. Um, I originally came to George with the idea to help us with it. George has been in no, no way, shape, or form a part of this <laughs> podcast. When when we just started getting like bigger numbers and like getting spikes from having guests like your mom's house and, and Joey Diaz and all these guys, we get these big spikes and then we, we actually have like a decent listenership now. And then guess who comes out? Guess who comes out of the, wo- uh, the a year woodwork? later? He's like, hey, well, uh, let's talk about growing. Let's talk about where we're <laughs> Wow. Let's wow. hey you got hey we're only upwards and onwards for us <laughs> Buzz Lightyear yeah. 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 yeah and beyond yeah so wow. I just want to say uh, fuck you human. fuck you dude fuck you dude <laughs> oh. oh yeah yeah pajama pants yeah we can we don't need you okay yeah yeah Gil sis- Gil's sister Gabby yeah. and yeah. Bryce Gabby. are the architects. <laughs> <laughs> and they do everything and you are you are you are just you're sucking on this tiger belly tea and you would <laughs> you would be nowhere i love this yeah. you would be nowhere without me you would be nowhere without That's bobby true. and Kalila, and this 
and you should you should be cutting a piece of whatever you're making. This guy's getting married. His life is fucking perfect. Yeah. yeah. Games yeah. and he's good. married. No. Do you know that it's life. actually Bryce who wrote me on Instagram saying, hey, it wasn't George. It was Bryce? It was oh. Bryce who was like, do you remember that, George? It was, it was Bryce who brokered that deal. So wow. technically, Bryce is, you know... Bryce Are you be- happy? Do you have <laughs> This is what people think about you. This is fun. This is good stuff. You're a good sport, though, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but you know what? You know, I don't think that I would. Um, uh, I don't think. Oh God, I'm not gonna give you a compliment. Episode two sixty seven. Donnell Rawlings and the White Korean. When you look at your kid, because I see a bond and a closeness, and he loves you so fucking much. Listen to this. Mm. Okay. This song he wrote for me the oh, other day. Man. I don't know where. Listen. I like to be with you. And I have to play with you. All day long with you. Because this is my greatest daddy. Oh. All I love. Life, 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 and then I like playing with him before he leaves, and then I give him a hug, and then we say goodbye, but he'll always come back. That was the that was okay. I know you guys will have time. That was this that was the second song. This is the first one he was. He's a whole album. Bro, bro, He's a whole down, down, yeah, down, yeah. down. I'm fucking crying right now. No, listen, listen. This is the first one he wrote. Yeah. What is it? I'll climb every mountain. And swim every ocean just to be with you because I really love you because I plan you and I so care about you and I last you awake. And I like you hug me. And he hugged me. Oh, I love you. Oh, man, that's the greatest song. All right, okay, I know. Yo, son. This one, what about this bullshit, man? I'm not crying. You're crying. I know. <laughs> but I'm, I'm telling you, bro. <clears throat> that's my... Fuck you, man. And I respect... Listen, oh. what you said about, you know had reservations about me or whatever if uh i can have it's two things i would want my peers to respect me for okay one of them is being a dope ass comedian and one of the best to do it you know i don't care about building relationships outside of the stage like the respect that i always felt like me personally that you you know I want you to respect what I do as a craft of that. And the second thing is me as a father. You know what I'm saying? And we talked about it on the other show, and I, I didn't have the connection like that with my dad. He was around. He was in and out of prison, whatever. So when, I, when, I, when, I, when, I'm, when I'm with my son, I always want to create the memories that I didn't create with my father. You know what I'm saying? I never went fishing with my father. So it's my, I got to take my son fishing. I never, I know this sounds crazy, but we was doing summer camp, but this is what made summer camp so dope, Chappelle show summer camp. We gave people that was desperate for entertainment, people that were depressed, standing in the house, didn't know what to do. We gave them the opportunity to go out and feel some type of being normal. You know what I'm saying? And But with that, we had activities. I've created this person called the River Ninja. Yeah, you told me. The River Ninja. And he was birthed because I was sick of fucking Hollywood. Right? I'm like, fuck Hollywood. I'm having problems in my fucking relationship. I need to get the fuck away from here. I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to kill somebody else. 
I went to Yellow Spring and found fucking nature. I went on one fucking kayaking trip and I was like this, I'm the river nigga. <laughs> This is this hat, yeah, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. This yeah. hat yeah. is a river nigga hat. Look at how... <laughs> you know how many rivers you got to have to get this fuzzy part right here, son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said to myself, I embodied this person, and I said to myself, I was like, fuck Hollywood. I was like, I'm the river nigga. I said from the... <laughs> I said, from the, I said from the streets to the creeks. Yeah. Ah. I said from the hoods to the woods. <laughs> I said from whores to oars. Yeah. <laughs> from Adidas to Tevas, I'm the river nigga. Do you really wear Tevas? Yes. Yeah. I love Tevas. I love Tevas. all fucking duh. <laughs> I love white bitches. <laughs> Episode two fifty seven. Christina P. Breaker breaker. Oh, it was really it was really oh, sad. Oh, you're heartbroken. But she didn't know about the two-year window. <laughs> she did not no, know. She didn't know. All right. So can we go back to Defend defending yourself. myself? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Gilbert. Do it. All right. Get him right here. So uh, I always had a two-year window, all right? Yeah. So when I met Kalila, okay, we met at a coffee shop. People know, listening to the podcast, how we met, right? And when I met her, I had a sensation go over mm. me. And it was a feeling... That I never had before, I uh, maybe never have ever again, right? Whereas the feeling was, I know this person. Oh, that's cool. Okay, not you know in this lifetime, but there it was a familiarity. Is that how I said? Mm -hmm. With her, right? And I had a sense of dread as as, as long uh, with it, and not a dread. It was just more of a, oh, this is, this is it. This is the forever thing. Yeah, this is, you know, this is this person that I'm meeting right now, right, is somebody that I've never had anyone check all the boxes for me. Wow. Okay. And when I'm with her, usually every girlfriend I've ever had in the history of me having girlfriends, I can't sleep next to them. I do sleep, right? I lived with one, you know, but every night was a restless night of sleep because there was just no comfort there, right? With her, and I've always slept like a baby next to her, almost as if we're one person. Okay, when I look at her, I trust her. Good words, Bobby. No, I trust her implicitly, right? Ooh. I've I've said that the, I've had a resurgence in my career. There's no other girl on this planet that would have done that for me except for her. Oh. She did it all. All right, and I, she's one of my fa she is my favorite person I've ever met in my whole life. She's my favorite person I've ever met in my whole life. Oh. I love her so fucking much. Okay. Now, I know my dad died in I'm August. I'm trying to not cry. <laughs> I know You're making that, me cry. No, but I know that my dad died. I know my dad died. Okay. Oh. I know last, in, last August, right? I have a lot of fucking problems. Oh. I was molested. I was beat by my dad. I have all, all these defense mechanisms, right? Because I don't want to feel. Yeah. You know, I don't, you know, um, I like just playing video games because I, I, it is, I escape. Right. And I don't do drink. I don't do drugs anymore. I don't drink. I'm sober almost 10 months. Right. And I'm proud of myself and I have problems. Right. And I'm fucking struggling with these things. I really am. I feel guilt and shame over it. Over it. Mm. OK. But my feelings for her is forever. And um, I would never lie to her. I would never cheat on her. I would never do anything outwardly to hurt her. Because she's my favorite person of all time. And I've met many people. Okay? So you guys can rip on me all you want. <laughs> you can rip on me all you want, right? And you can call me a piece of shit. I'm a bad God. guy. Or whatever. Not but say I'm that. gonna say this right now, okay? That's a defense. Fuck you. <gasps> okay? Fuck you. All right? <laughs> Fuck both of you. <laughs> I love oh, you, that was like a few me. good men. That, that was that really good. Powerful. That was fucking good. Yeah, that was good. That's a defense. Oh, you just wrote that on the spot. That was really good. All right. That was fucking great. I have yeah. never been so insulted. <laughs> <laughs>